Papa John's Pizza. Has Papa John's Pizza. I've never had it. If you have to choose between Papa John's and Boston Pizza. Papa John's. I've had too much Boston Pizza. Is, Boston, is, is Papa oh. John's like strictly a pizza place? I think so, mostly. Because Boston Pizza is more like a sit-down restaurant, yeah. right? Yeah, Papa John's, I think, is more like a pizza, like pizza. pizza pizza. You just go in and pick up a pizza. But its quality is better, right? Probably. Probably? I don't know. I've never had it. In so. America, here's a theory, or a question. In America. Is, um... You can get frozen yogurt. Want well, to just die instead? Well, was frozen one? yogurt? Yeah, man. Includes 12 small... What? Don't they just have, like, a pack of ice cream sandwiches? <laughs> Isn't like it just, randomly? like, a Loblaws, like, ice cream sandwich pack? <laughs> what? All right, welcome to Canada Link Podcast, number 136. We're back with our pig again. Whoa. For, uh, again. Oh, happy Chinese New Year, Chris. Ah, namaste. I was, I was, yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's right, I was he's told right. it is the year of the pig, so I think we're uh, we're on the right track here. Are we really? Yeah. Can't go wrong. So if it was the year of the <clears throat> the monkey, then we messed up. <laughs> Rot row. Actually, I kind of just feel like eating right now. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, that's I want to focus said. on eating. Yeah. <laughs> and we can watch the Pokemon movie. Wait, which Pokemon movie? The new one. Whichever one Phil was watching. Yeah, oh. thanks for watching Canada League Podcast. Tomorrow, we'll see you in five years. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, welcome to Canada League Podcast. We finished. This is Pig Fest. We finished it. Finished all of it. Everybody go. Get, everyone give us $20,000 for Pig Fest 2020. <laughs> we get a bigger pig. Promise. You gotta promise. <laughs> for real. We're gonna get headlines such as um, David James Martinez to perform at Pig Fest 2020. What's this band's called? Oh, he's in a new one. Jitensha? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Detention. Yeah, Detention. <laughs> David David J. Martinez and his band Detention. They're going to be playing a cool banjo set for us. Um, um, uh, Blink-182 is coming. Uh, <laughs> who's that? Who's the... They fulfill all their, all their requirements. Adam Furtado and uh, David. What was their band? Oh, mid, mid, Mitem Days. Mid, Mitem Days, yeah. They're going to be uh, here. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, Blink-182 is obviously the headliner. The big, no, I think the biggest headliner is uh, the reunion of Super Funky Chinese. Oh, SFC. All the way from Richmond Hill. <laughs> coming from all the way from Richmond Hill. We're going to be performing That's so far. Uh, a new set of cover songs. <laughs> uh, each ticket is going to be $100,000. Just, uh, you know, load up your, your, your pig wristband. So you get all the VIP access. Yeah, 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 make sure, you know, if you really want to have fun, you got to load up a lot more than just $3,000. If you want to use the up upstairs bathroom, that's another, like, $500,000 right yeah, there. Yeah, down here we have a sink. <laughs> we call it the local bathroom. Yeah, you know, it's it's living like the locals. That's what it is. Are we... Oh, Alright, we finished our pig. We got More uh, or less. supermodels such as. Uh-huh. I, don't know, I don't know any. Uh, um, just just well, name just name porn stars. It's, it's no, a, we got but we got these local people. Who's a oh local <laughs> local supermodels? Who are the sunshine people in the Mississauga Sun? Or is that, is that, is that, they is don't that do the, they don't do that anymore. Oh, they I don't. don't. So. Oh, that's probably because it's like the flag sun. women or something. Yeah, I don't. Think yeah, that yeah, happens it's like anymore. all the SJWs. And what about around? the uh, the sunshine people of the world? Do you know what? Oh, all the happy people of the world. I remember that was my favorite thing for my dad was waiting for the Mississauga Sun and looking at the Sunshine model. Right. Just being look at this motherfucker and got on a big newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta move this uh, Quaker. When are you gonna do that? When's that gonna? Yeah, for for uh, Pig Fest 2020, get ready for the meal like, ice cream thing that dude was talking about. I don't know what it was. Like you twist it on and then there you, you twist go. on some oatmeal. ice cream. <laughs> I don't know. You open a bag of oatmeal and then you take the ice cream, you dip it in the oatmeal and you just eat it. Yeah. For the for the one million dollar package, you get your own uh, bag of oatmeal. Oh man! You can just eat that wherever you want. Yeah, that's true. You can add water, add milk, you know, your own <laughs> whatever. <chips. laughs> yeah. Is there any other uh, promises you want to make for our? Can fest. Uh, you know, it's still. I mean, <coughs> Pig Fest is a 
organic process. So, you know, things will just pop up as... as a... See, there you go. If you don't want the phone to ring, that's another $1 million. Oh, man. Yeah, you, you, can be, you can be the full, in the phoneless villa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, are no, there are no landlines there. Only your, your calls yeah, that only, you want yeah. through your own phone. Uh, you don't have to worry about, you know, auntie whoever Who's calling. Auntie? Who's auntie? Is it my auntie? Is it your auntie? Not that kind of auntie. Oh, are you sure? What? No, auntie, uh... Auntie May? Auntie Aunt May, yeah. Aunt May. Calling, hey, how you doing? Did you receive that $5 in your red red pocket? Uh, for $2 million, you get the... Batman will show up and say what? what's up to you. Batman will show up? Yeah. Yeah. He's got the Batman costume. Which, Batman. Oh, that Batman. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that I'm like, Batman. I'm like, which, I'm like, which star are you hiring? Quote, unquote, Batman. <laughs> like, which, 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 uh, which actor for, are you hiring? <laughs> for $4 million, you can have a private screening of our Batman video with Batman <laughs> there. Besides live commentary. <laughs> of course, for $1 billion, you get the podcast with us. Oh, so. shit. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> well, you know. That's a lot. Fest 2020 <laughs> is going to be a... Uh, it's gonna be a lit. You can be on the hottest podcast on the internet right now. <laughs> we got we got to put um on, on all our Instagrams. We put it. We got to put like a picture of like this color. Get ready for pig oh. fest. No, I'm gonna take a picture of the pig's head. Oh no! And then uh, just yeah, just it. post that. Well, I mean, you're gonna get see. You're gonna get in trouble with the vegans. But if you just post the color like that, oh, then okay. people won't know what you're talking about. Like, oh, you're yeah. gonna celebrate pigs. Oh, remember if you want to hang out with the pigs, you gotta hang out with the pigs. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Um, yeah, but that's know. next in the year. Not now. I don't know what else to say. Right now it's... Uh, no, you're not just getting the fundraising for it. Yes. Yeah, we have. Uh, <clears throat> we currently have $6 million that we're putting towards catering. Oh, wow. Uh, it's definitely happening. None of us are willing to go down it's, on anyone, though. It... <laughs> Well, well, okay, maybe. It depends on how close to the... Uh... Depends how bad it gets. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we need like $1 million worth of mouthwash. You're, you're going to have to go to the uh, the pork people and like do some deeds the there. The pork people. <laughs> yeah, by the way, all the food for CanFest is going to be just pork. <laughs> just lots of suckling pig. Um, like, it's 200 suckling pigs. Only Yeah, only 200. That's our whole $6 million budget. Yeah, everyone just gets one piece of skin. <laughs> In a... No, we're not supposed to tell them the bad parts right now. We're supposed no. to say the good that's, part. No, no, that's no, the no, good no, part. No, that's the good part. <laughs> that's the good part. Oh, oh, that's the good part. Okay. Uh, we don't have soaking wet mattresses. In fact, we don't think we have any mattresses. <laughs> you, just, you just have, like, peanut stains on the carpet. That's all I gotta peanut worry about. Peanut stains? Like, peanut sauce stains on the carpet and some rice. Yeah. Is that what about. that stuff was? Peanut sauce? I don't think it's peanut sauce. But then why is there peanuts in there? <clears throat> I don't know. Just because there's peanuts in it doesn't make it peanut sauce. Then what would you call it then? I don't know. Sauce with peanuts. Oh, there we go. <laughs> tomato uh, sauce just with tomatoes in it? Yeah. Uh, no, but, but, any, but any sauce that has tomato is not tomato sauce. Sauce made from tomato is tomato sauce. So was that sauce made from peanuts? Who knows? How do you make sauce from peanuts? From peanuts? Yeah. <laughs> what, are what are tea nuts? You know, on the tea trees. The nuts. Tea tree? N- tea what? trees come from tea nuts. What? You put the tea nuts in the ground. Then it becomes a tea tree? You know, 30 minutes later, you got a tea nut. Tea, tea tree. Oh, I got plenty of tea nuts after 30 minutes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shut up. <laughs> Alright, welcome to Canada Thing Podcast, number 136, I think. Um... I'm your host. Okay. All right. There, All it, right, is. there it is. Good job, Phil. You did it. Thanks. There's so Thanks many lights us. on. I'm not used to this. Uh, you want to turn one of them off? Can I turn all of them off? Let's turn them. Well, you're just gonna take a nap. <laughs> Hold on. Is that the idea? Shh. <laughs> 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 oh, look, that was like like weird, scary cast. It's not scary. It's pretty scary to me. Well, what if you turn off that one last light? Oh, this one? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, All right. Welcome, welcome, All right. welcome to the dark cast. I like this. <laughs> no, no, that's good. That's good. Hey. No, no, no. Can Woo. you see what I'm doing? Oh, no. Oh. Okay, we'll just have... No, I think that's pretty... This funny. is like a conspiracy cast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like, let me tell you something about the, the chemtrails. <laughs> 
Uh, was there anything on there? There's yes. bones and stuff. Oh no. <laughs> That's the uh, third plate drop. <laughs> Nothing for me yet, guys. Keep, full, keep, full disclosure about can, can Fest, uh, you will drop some plates <laughs> yeah. at some point. On the carpet. The tables at our we're gonna tell you the the worst thing. The table at our the tables at our festival are not big enough <laughs> for more than one. We don't plate. have tables. That's basically <laughs> it. Uh, yeah. So you will drop something. They're they're luxury coasters. <laughs> <laughs> million <laughs> million dollar coasters. Yeah. Jeez. Would you go to a restaurant if they said uh, they have luxury coasters? No. I don't like going to Chinese restaurants where um, the, you know it's those big circle tables. And you spin it. No oh, no no no. You don't like and that? then you go like table for two, and you go oh well those uh there's like two seats over there, and there's like four people. They do that? Yeah. I've never in, had in that In Toronto, happen. it's like when it's like super busy. Oh. What do you mean? So it's like a table with other people at it? Yeah. Oh. And they're just like, yeah, just just go there. Oh, well, no, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. I, I uh, When I was on the cruise last year for uh, Richard's wedding, um, <clears throat> so we didn't really know what, like, it was the first the first day after, or like the second day, technically. So we didn't really know, like, the layout of the ship and how everything worked yet. So me and the guy I was staying with, we, uh, we decided, oh, let's go to the dinner room for, like, breakfast they said there's serve breakfast there for a certain time mm-hmm. and we get there and there's like some lady with some thick accent that i couldn't understand asking mm-hmm. us you know where we want to sit or whatever okay i just said yes to whatever she said because i didn't understand yeah so they sat us at a like the whole dining room was almost empty, empty. right there's like maybe four tables there had people at it yeah and they sit us at one of the tables that right. have like three couples at it already it's like all all these old people yeah and it's just like me and this guy oh. were in like video game t shirts. Yeah. Everybody else is dressed nicely and they're like adults and Yeah. And it's just so awkward. We're just sitting there like looking down at our plates. You should ask them to move. <laughs> oh, I was, I was like, Can you guys move? I'm trying to get a different Yeah, we didn't know. Cause then yeah, then What we, would you have done differently? I would have just said let's let's get our own table. Oh yeah. Because I I didn't know what they asked us. I thought they're just asking us if we're there to eat or something. Uh. I was just like, Yeah, okay. And then we ended up, they brought us over a table with other people, and mm-hmm. then we didn't even know there was a buffet there, so we ordered from the menu, and we're just sitting there, like, waiting for our food to come. Everyone's kind of quiet, and <laughs> nobody knows what to say. That's probably their favorite day, the first day, where people don't know, and it's like, we get to fucking, like, yeah, yeah. all these guys. Yeah. <laughs> get, get our own fun yeah. out of it. After that, we, we just never went back there for breakfast. <laughs> was there other places to go? Yeah, there's, like, a more of a casual, like, buffet area. Oh, like a big trough? But this was... Sure. <laughs> this was this was the one. this was the formal <laughs> dinner area. I'm just gonna push that plate further in. Still mm-hmm. drop it. I know. Well, there's a bit of an edge. Mm-hmm. No, watch this thing is gonna fall now. Oh no! Well, no, please don't make that one fall. Oh no, that's gonna be the worst. That one is replace the carpet kind of damage. <laughs> well, you know, Pig Fest 2020. Get ready for new carpets <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Wait, is it Pig Fest or Can Fest? Man, whatever you want. See, man, dude, it's organic. It'll figure itself out by the end. Mm-hmm. No, what, what's happening? We're, we're, we're teamed up right now, but eventually we're going to argue and we're going to split. <laughs> and then you're going to have Can Fest and we're going to have Pig Fest. <laughs> and we're both telling you to, like, no, come to mine. No, come to in, mine. In the same place. Yeah, we both promised Jude's going to be there. <laughs> Top billing, Jude. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I want to go to that one instead. Well, I, I, I don't want to see Blink-182. I want to see Blink-182. I want to <laughs> see Jude struggling on stage by himself. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, what's up? Was there any uh, like restricted areas on the boat that you couldn't like walk around? Uh, no, just like, like was there like like if you see this red line on the wall, that means you're like no, no, room? no, just like employee areas. Oh, okay. like, oh you couldn't like go to you couldn't go to kitchen. the engine room. Turn no, engine? I guess that too. Oh, okay. We <clears throat> we walked around the ship on the first day, just yeah. trying to like find everything, mm-hmm. and I found like these stairs that just kept going up. Yeah, and then they kind of went nowhere. What? Like, it's kind of stopped somewhere, and then there was one of these, like, metal ladders yeah. that you have to climb onto afterwards, and it oh, would take you, like, to the very, very top, top. Yeah, like, for like... maintenance work. <laughs> so this, I guess I wasn't supposed to go there, but that was about it. How, how long of a walk from, like, one side to the other? Like, it's not that long. That ship wasn't that big, actually. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? yeah there's, oh. there's other ships that are probably, like, twice as big, big as that yeah. one. Yeah. I think that was the <clears throat> smaller one, uh-huh. like, the smallest one. The uh, the uh, ex- exclusive experience. 
Yeah, yeah, the super VIP villa experience. You each get your own ship. Oh, wow. The whole ship to yourself? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, each one doesn't get a captain, though. So it's just like going... So... Or is it just... Or is each it one just... doesn't come with an engine, either. So yeah, yeah. You just gotta yeah. float on, on the dock. Well, you get a chain, you could attach it to one of the other <laughs> boats that does have an engine. It's all good. Uh, check out... What's that movie called? Fire? Fire. 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 The, the, the greatest fire festival that never happened. On Netflix. I'm not sponsored by them. Though, if they would like to be part of a Pig Fest 2020. <laughs> yeah. Phil's going to get, for CanFest, he's going to get the Hulu version to sponsor CanFest 2020. I will. Alright. What's up, man? I am sleepy from all this pig and ice cream. Could you go for uh, more pig and ice cream? I uh, the night's still young. Well, actually, not really. <clears throat> there's I not a lot there. left, actually. Yeah. There's, there's like, one. That. Well, there's a whole bunch hidden right there. Yeah, well, there's, like, on, like, this side over here, there's still some. Oh, really? Oh, no. What? It's just oh, invisible. it's just hiding. It's invisible to you guys, but I can uh, see it. Because I, I see the Oh, color. this thing's covering the pig head. There you go. There's a little snout sticking up now. <clears throat> All right. Good night. Good night. <sighs> Alright, wake me up when you guys get for more ice cream. Wait, what? what? You can just get ice cream. No, wake me up when you guys get ice cream. Uh, what if we don't wake up? Good night. What if this is it, dude? This is <laughs> it. This is, going, this is the last meal. <laughs> Chris, Chris, you look like Daredevil. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> oh, is that what you're going for? Yeah, yeah. Nice. nice. You're, you're, you're by my, my festival, you can cosplay. Oh, nice. How about now? Am I Daredevil? No, you ruined it. You ruined the illusion. <laughs> I don't believe you're Daredevil anymore. All I see is fire. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Is that what he sees? A world of fire or something. That's is what he said. I thought he saw, like, rain. What? <coughs> rain? Like the, the J-pop guy? Are you, about, are you talking about the Ben Affleck movie? Yeah. What? I'm talking about the Netflix show. Oh. On Netflix. Oh. Uh, that's, that's, that's the camera you're pointing to. On Netflix. That's the wrong guy. <laughs> I'm not. I only have this big light to base off all my stuff, so I'm assuming the camera's yeah, like right there. there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, it's it's to the right. That's that's my right. <laughs> I don't know, man. Whatever. It's all good. It is all good. I'm tired. I'm tired too. Jude, can you carry the podcast on your own? Yeah, just pick up the camera and just walk around. Oh, okay, it's like 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 Firefest. Yeah. Just like, hey, what are you guys doing? Up. Just yeah, you got, you got to document everything <laughs> so it's all legit. Can, can you make a really, really big, 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 big fire? Like for a bonfire? The, for, yeah, for the, it's for the podcast. Yeah, I can do that. And put, put the words fest around it and then invite people to f the new fire fest. Like put it in this room? Yeah. Is that kind of dangerous? No. Or do I just get like, die, like smoke Wait, inhalation? I have, I have a bottle of water right over here. Oh, like, okay, that's true. <clears throat> just grab that if things get out of hand. Yeah, just grab it. Just, yeah. you know. Oh, God. All right. I grabbed it. Because when it's out of hand, I just grab it. Because I know it's going to be so hot, you're going to need to rehydrate, so. What about you guys? We're going to be sleeping. What do we care? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, you're finally asleep. I get it. All right. We got we to gotta do this. I told Phil not to because everyone's sleepy, but he's like... He's like, you gotta stay positive and make sure you podcast. And I'm like, Phil, this isn't a good idea. Because we're all, we're all full and tired. What What are you doing, Jude? Nothing. Stop playing music. <laughs> no, make the music louder. <laughs> the music louder? Okay. Yeah. Is that Zelda music? Yeah, how do you know? <laughs> Zelda, I actually don't think that's from Zelda. It is from Zelda. Wind Waker. Oh, oh yeah. you should know it, Phil. That's like your game. Yeah, yeah game the game I never finished. The game where I got stuck on the first semi-dungeon. Were you watching like a Let's Play or just the music? No, it's just like someone built like this kind of box. Building a box? Oh. oh. What? Like they built this thing. It's a thing. I don't know what it is, man. It's just a toy. That's really shitty. Oh, well, yeah, okay. I don't... Like mechanically it looks yes. cool. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I don't mean to shit on their stuff. Oh, right? come on. Let's oh, see that looks cool. Oh. That's so cool. I guess Phil appreciates Wait. it more than you do. Wait. What? Where do you get those figures? He built it. What? You can build things? Is he selling it? <laughs> Calm down, Phil. I don't know if he's selling it. Uh, Jeff Keeley tweeted it, that's why. Jeff Keeley knows. 
where to get those. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Kiwi! Tell me your secrets. Do you agree with Mega64 about Jeff Keeley being like a pillar of the community or whatever? And like, we should applaud him for trying so hard. You know, the way they talk about him sometimes, it's like he's the mentally challenged kid. What? What? It's like, no matter what he does, they're just like, you know, good on you for trying, man. Oh, like he's just putting so much effort at these, like, oh, man, Yeah, like, you know, maybe it's not the greatest thing, but good on you for trying. Yeah, sometimes I feel like that. Like, like, so, like what else is he doing before, like, before the Game Awards? Uh, Hanging G- out with G4 Hideo, or something? No, he doesn't do G4 anymore. G4's oh. done. Was he ever on G4? Yeah, he was. He was? Oh. Was he on EP? He was on EP first, and then he was on G4. He was on EP? Yeah. Hey, really? You don't remember him? Yeah, he, he was, was there with, for a uh, bit. with Jade, whatever her name is. Jade Raymond? Oh, yeah. no, that was the time when I didn't really watch uh, it. Oh, you know, you're, you're not a real super fan then. And then he was on Reviews on the Run. What? Yeah. When, uh, before they got that guy, they kept switching between, like, Seth? FUBAR and all of them. Okay. He used to be on there, too. Wow, I didn't yeah. know that. I'm still very, uh, unsure where his connection to the video game press started. What do you mean? Or, and, and where it still is. Like... You always hear Jeff Keighley in the Game Awards, but then it's like... What's he doing before that? What? How did he get there? Remember, how did he grind to that? Remember he, uh, did, he did um, Spike stuff? Like he was yeah, I know, but I'm saying like... Like, it just sounds like he was just always involved in like... His end goal is always like, I'll, I'll work for you, but I, we must make this Game Awards thing. Right? Uh, like, I, 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 don't, I don't see him hustle on a like on a Polygon website writing articles yeah, and yeah. stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like I think he's more media focused than like... But he's like, if everyone calls him like a games journalist, but it's like, I never yeah, see him report weird. shit or anything. Did he report know. when he was on EP? I mean, Like, I what, what did he do on that? I, he like, he was like the interviewer guy, so tell me about your game. And okay, they did the so yeah, and this is journalism. I mean, are people that work on like, entertainment TV, is that journalism? Yes. Sure. Well, it counts as journalism. Lightly journalism, I'd say. Yeah, but it, I don't know, it's weird. No, you know... I don't know. I mean, on, like, Entertainment Tonight, like, those people have researchers and stuff. Yeah, they have mm-hmm. other people. And they just there. present the info. I think it's the same for EP. Oh, you think? Oh, probably, Oh, yeah. man, it's Victor yeah. Lucas on Kotaku every day, <laughs> just checking out the latest news. And he's on Well, that. see, but he's looking at other people's work. He's not researching himself. He doesn't care. He'll yeah, Victor it. Lucas doesn't need exclusives. <laughs> he, he, just wants, he just wants the Canadians to get news from a Canadian. <laughs> That's all he cares about. That's true. That's all he cares about. You think you think um, you think Jeff Keighley would like send brother some love and be like, "Hey man, if you want to film the Game Awards, Victor Lucas, just come on, come on down." And what do you mean film the Game Awards? Like you know, because he had like a production team. That's what he like. That's yeah. mainly what what that EP pre- was pre- productions was. Oh yeah. okay. Why doesn't he involve Victor Lucas? I don't. Maybe maybe they're like, falling that's out. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. Probably they're, they're falling out. Jeff Keighley's Canadian, right? Yeah. Yeah. Where's he from? I don't know. Vancouver. Banff. Banff? I don't know. Banff National Park? <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, just, he just born in the wilderness. He just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> and video games I racing. like video games. Give I me can't the... remember what this was, but I saw a thing with him where he was talking about like what inspired him to do the Game Awards. He said when he was a kid, or like a teenager or something, his some big network had a gaming, uh, was it gaming award thing. And he's like, oh, it was like the Oscars, and I want, I basically want to make like the Oscars for video games. I'd never heard of that thing, though. And, like, all these celebrities showed up and presented things. I can't. And, like... I can't. Maybe, maybe yeah, I in know. Banff they had a big, like, get-together <laughs> to celebrate the video games. Uh, did we talk about the Game Awards? When did no. that happen? December. I don't know. Well, that's a long time ago. <sighs> Wasn't that, like, last <sighs> year? I'm awake. Yeah, it was last year. I mean, a lot of stuff was last year. Yeah, that's true. Because it's still early New Year. What's your cutoff for saying Happy New Year to people? January 1st. <laughs> yeah, they're like, I'm going to say like, like the week you, after. You'll you still say it on that day, or you'll stop saying it on that, that day? That, that's it, man. Oh, you that's it? Oh. It's like, if I see you January 1st, I'm, I'm not going to be like, Hey, man, what's up? Happy New Year. I'm just going to be like, hey. 
<laughs> the new year is over. It's not new anymore. Yeah, no, it's over. You say Happy New Year as a group at midnight or whatever the fuck. It's true. I had someone say it to me two weeks after the new year, and I was kind of like confused at first because it felt like felt like that was such a long time ago. <laughs> it was a long time. Well, Happy New Year, Chris. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean Happy Chinese New Year. Sorry. Oh, yeah, Namaste, yeah. Namaste. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> happy Happy uh, Chinese New Year, Jude. Happy um, Lunar New Year, okay? If you want to be like PC about this, you got to say it like the correct way. Do you think Chinese people care about being PC? No, they don't. They give no shits. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you're only half, so you should just give shits. <laughs> But I don't think Filipino people care either. No, they do. Filipino people are very nice people. Yeah, but do they care about being PC? Uh, nice and PC aren't exactly the same I don't know. Thing. Pacquiao is very, like, fucking weird, so maybe not. Okay. Do you hear Pacquiao said? Uh, no, tell us. Tell, said, us. tell us in rap form. He said he said that, that gay people are worse than animals. Was this okay. recent or this was from a while ago? This was a while ago. I think this was after he, he lost that fight to that guy. Oh, so he was just angry. <laughs> Yeah, okay, he's just angry. <laughs> Why is he hanging out with gay people? I know. I don't that's know. Deal. Yeah, I think, I think that's the one where he lost his sponsorship with Gillette, right? Probably. Oh, yeah. man. The best a man can Apparently he still do. fights. It's like, can you believe that? Yeah, he had like a match like last week. My, my mom tells me that he's still fighting because he's still, all his like family, they're used to like the rich lifestyle. Jeez. So he has to like pay for that. Makes and it's, it's kind of like Filipino mentality of like, I gotta take care of my my family. But did he like get a lot of money off that like Mayweather fight, regardless? He did, but so I bet he, I don't know. He, my mom told me that that Pacquiao's mom has like a personal like dance instructor, and when she goes to parties, she brings him so they can dance and like show off how good of a dancer she is. Oh, <laughs> it's like fuck. That's <laughs> fuck you. It's awesome. No, it's not. It's awesome, man. Oh, I found out that thing you were talking about, Cybermania '94, the Ultimate Game Awards. Oh, okay. He was 14 when he did that. Where, what, what? What is Cybermania? It's a game award. Is that... Wait, is that video game and arcade top 10s video game awards? The Cybermania? No. This was no. in 94. I was in a guitar 10 even in there? I think it was. In 94? Yeah. Yeah, was they would have done it. Yeah. Oh. Right. That, that is not the theme song. <laughs> no, that's the thing when they transition Yeah, yeah when, to when the he transitions one. to this. Down. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, see, he knows it. That's right. What's up? What's up? What's what? up, brother? You didn't watch it? I did. Yeah. But it was just a theme song. It was both. It wasn't a transition and a yeah, theme song? Yeah, but that's not what it sounds like. It, uh, I know what he's... I know, I, like, I knew where he was going with it. I know I know where you're going with it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. not sorry, it, though. Brother, sorry, brother. I, know, I know. He was close. I mean, now he's going to... Now Phil's going to go... <coughs> <coughs> where's, <coughs> where's my keep? Where's my keep? Mummy, mamu. I was just surprised how long that thing lasted. Video game top ten, like it was like, like twenty twelve. You know, it lasted really 2012, long. Really, but they fucking kept the N sixty four stuff for like, oh, way longer yeah, than yeah. they should have. Like PS three was yeah. They're like, they were like hey, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like hey, you guys want to play some N sixty four? Were they were they sponsored by Nintendo or I something? Think they were. Yeah, was, I think they were. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember them ever doing anything else. Yeah, but they didn't. They didn't move up from the GameCube, and they always played that stupid game. Which one? That constructor game where you're like a robot and you can jump high and like you smash buildings or something. I don't know what it's called. 64? Like, yeah. Oh, oh Blast Core? Uh, maybe Blast Core. I don't know. That, that Rockstar joint? I don't know. It's the one where you destroy buildings. I, all I remember is like a robot flying up and then like it goes down and hits the thing. It sounds like Blast Core, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like Blast Core. Like, is, is it always yellow? Yeah. Yeah, it's Blast yeah. Core. And that's like the every time I turned to that channel, it was like, new kids, but they're still playing this one fucking game. Okay, no, I lied. 91 to 2006. Yeah, I didn't think it went to 2012. But that's still long. 2006 with Blast Core for like 10 of those years. <laughs> Yeah, for like 98, 2006. I think maybe the show wasn't popular enough, they couldn't up the budget, so Probably. they couldn't buy new video games. Probably. You think so? They just played whatever they had on but hand. But then, you know, diversify. Maybe go back to the 64. What's wrong with going back to the Nintendo 64? Uh, there's a lot with going back to the N64. It's, it's I, mean, not, I mean the Super Nintendo, my bad. I'm going to say something controversial. Okay. N64 isn't that great. Yeah, it's, it's not. not. It's not. It has it, it has, has like a handful games. of of like quality games. classic games. Mm -hmm. The rest of it it's like garbage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it all looks bad. No, it looks okay. No, it doesn't look good. I don't know. It all looks bad. That all the games from that era look really bad. Fight me Ocarina fans. It does look like a bad game. No, 64 is 
Yeah, that that was the weird transition era <coughs> when they discovered 3D games, or not discovered, but that became a thing. And then they're like, "Oh, we have to let's just do that, even though we haven't perfected this yet." And that's why they all look bad. Uh, I think, I think even the GameCube wasn't that great. I know there's people out there that be like, "Yo, GameCube." No, well, yeah, GameCube wasn't that. Like, GameCube. Yeah. GameCube was a realization of like, oh, maybe there are like aside from Nintendo games, maybe yeah, there aren't well, yeah. GameCube was like. Nintendo really trying to compete with Xbox, uh, Xbox and, and PlayStation. But they were behind. PS4, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Xbox and PlayStation 4. Damn, man. Yeah. Well, uh, they did have that PlayStation 9 commercial, so, you know, you're not that far off. Okay. Yeah, well, like, that was when... That was the one console where they're like... Where they didn't really try to do their own quirky thing like they always do now. They just tried to, like, be the other one. The other... Be the other one. Yeah, I don't like most N64 games. I like, um... You know, I've never really played through Ocarina, but... Uh, Harvest Moon? I respect it as a, as a good game. Uh, Harvest Moon on 64? Mm-hmm. i never played that. It's really good. The only thing I know about Harvest Moon was from, uh... What's her name? Ashley Birch? Like, she loved that game for some reason. Oh, okay, oh, okay. okay. And, I, I don't know, I read some blog post where she's like, Yeah, it, it helped me out of, like, a hard time or something. I just played it all the time. Oh. And that's all I've ever heard about that game. I had no idea that was a thing. You didn't have a 64, right? No. Or did you? I have one now. Yeah. I bought it last year. Uh, no, I didn't have one. I skipped over that. Because you were like... I forgot, but you like you, you would skip the the, the, comp, the generation, right? Not really. Because you, didn't, you got a Super... Um, you got a Cube, though, right? I got a GameCube pretty late in the GameCube lifespan. I remember Jude telling me that the cube was going on sale for like 150 bucks, and that's when I bought one. I bought mine used, but that was like in 2006 to play yeah. uh, Wind Waker. But I only got to the first level and I stopped. I think, <laughs> Join I, the club, Jude. <laughs> and I think, and I think, I think that's the only time I ever used the GameCube. Really? I, yeah. I'm not like, sure. What you I never played it at Mario like Kart? Derek's house or something, or sorry, you never played it at Derek's house or. No, I mean, I that's where I played. That's where I wanted to buy Wind Waker. Like after I saw it at Derek's house. Oh, okay. I'm like, oh, I really like this game. I should go play it. And then I bought it. And then I... Whatever. I don't know what I did with it, though. You probably gave it to someone to borrow it, and then they never... <clears throat> Possibly? I don't remember. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, that, I only played one game on the GameCube. Yeah, I only had two games. I had Smash Brothers, and then okay. my sister got this Buffy the Vampire Slayer <laughs> game. <laughs> and yeah. that's all I ever played on it. Those two games. Was the Buffy the Vampire Slay like? Uh, was it um? Is was it, it a beat 'em up or was it something like else? Like a third person action adventure type of game. Oh okay. Some puzzle solving. Oh, okay. Did you have guns? Did uh, you? No, she had a steak. Mmm, steak. Oh no, Drew's gonna start his own fest called Steak Fest 2020. Buffy the Vampire presents Steak. Fest. <laughs> I think. Oh, shit. I think both you and I would skip the other one and go to Steak Fest. <laughs> <laughs> what if I? What if I called it Sushi Fest? Then it would come, huh? Yeah. So, what, really? You kind of stuff? I'll go to Sushi Fest. Mm. No, actually, I wouldn't. I think I feel like Sushi Fest would be where all hipsters would go. No, no, hipsters like the thing now. What do you call it? like Guacamole Fest? Or like, what? Or like Avocado Fest? <laughs> That's where the hipsters go, man. That's I true. mean, hey, the sushi has avocado sometimes, so there you yeah, go. Yeah, I mean, you, you can be a part. It can be a part of Avocado Fest, but it won't be all sushi. I'll just go to Sushi Fest. And... All right. Are you going to Bubble Tea Fest? No. Oh. Ew. The BT Fest? It, it, there's an actual thing actually down downtown. Bubble Tea Fest? Best of, yeah, Bubble Tea Fest. That's gross. It is. They only they have like like what three vendors and the rest is like what are you guys what are you guys doing? Like, I don't know. It's chilling out. Sick. How does it go this year? Bubble Tea Fest. Oh, we should go. To, nah. Where? Rib Fest. Mm. Rib Fest isn't in a good spot anymore. Yeah, it's all the so. way like on Lake Shore now. Is that it's us for what? No. no, Lake Shore. That's lame. Yeah. yeah, I know. Is it, it is there construction lame. going on? Or? No, no, because they are not allowed to. Because it's a public area, and they're not allowed to take money from people. Because you what? know, remember how they used to ask for like donations and yeah. stuff? You're not allowed to do that. Because it's public. What? Yeah. But they're they're selling. Stuff. No, no, but like the for entrance, because they remember like a one, like I think after, after they. Cause, so, so don't charge. 
Yeah, but they didn't but want you're that. You're not supposed to charge. Yeah, I, did they, we ever have to pay to get yeah. in? Yeah. No. The, no, one of the years, I'm not sure where it's, it's uh, I think it was $5 or $2 or $3 entrance fee. I don't remember that at all. Really? It was the later ones. I remember the guy being up in my face about like, hey, come on, donate. Go ahead. Go ahead and donate. No, I think the, I think the one that was before they moved, that was when they charged people. And then I guess Masaki's like, no, no. No, no, no. no. No charge, no charge. So, but I think, yeah, so when you go to the one on Lakeshore, it's, you, have to, you have to pay like a 3 or $5 entrance. You know what, you know what? I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this. Mm-hmm. Hayes and McCallion would fix this problem. Yeah. Well, where is she now? Well, what? She's retired, man. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. This uh, whoever, whoever's in charge, Teddy? Is I Teddy in charge? No, I think, no, I think he it's Bonnie, lost. No. Bonnie Crombie. Oh, Teddy, Ted, Teddy Crombie? Te- okay. Teddy, Teddy wasn't even going for mayor. Like, <laughs> it was just the <laughs> city council. <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe he would find some way to do it. No, he, he could eventually go there. He could eventually be mayor yeah. if he wanted to. Yeah, but he didn't want to. He didn't. So. Okay. For now, he didn't want to. When he sees, you know, that big mansion you get when you become to become mayor, <laughs> yeah. he's like, "Whoa, I get the mayor's house. It's smaller than mine." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Why don't you guys run for politics? Because uh, oh, we said so many bad things, dude. If someone finds this podcast, would we? Like, I think I'm pretty sure we said so many bad things. <laughs> That's when you just delete all your history. You just delete everything. It, it exists forever, dude. Yeah. No. It's gonna be somewhere. <coughs> you just change your identity. So someone, some super fan out there, has saved all our videos on their hard drive. <laughs> I like made multiple copies of it. I'm burning yeah. Blu-ray and shit. Yeah. Like, I got you guys. <clears throat> Man, I remember before YouTube. Or even when YouTube was still pretty new. Mm-hmm. And like, putting all the stuff... Like, my my idea was still that people would go to the website and download everything. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah like, yeah. that was the thing. Yeah. Because that's all you had to do before. Yeah. Like, there was no streaming. I mean, you could click on the video, but you're still technically downloading the whole thing for it to play in your browser over QuickTime. Yeah, we're on QuickTime. It's, I mean, QuickTime's still around. Is it? <laughs> yeah. What? People still use QuickTime. It's, yeah. a, it's an Apple thing. Is Real Player still a thing? No. Oh, thanks. I, I, bet it's a, I bet it exists, is RMVB but nobody uses it. Is still like a file format people use? <laughs> I remember getting real-time uh, Dragon Ball video clips to watch. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you remember a DivX player? Yeah. yeah. Do you remember DivX was a thing? <laughs> That's what I watch all my legal movies on. I, I watched so much anime on DivX player. Because for some reason, that was the only thing that would play everything. Hey, real player is a thing. Yeah. Yeah. But who cares? I care. What, what, what are they up are they, to? Do they have phones now? Could you buy a real player phone? <laughs> <Or> like... <laughs> so it just plays like one big video file. <laughs> That's all it does. It doesn't make phone calls. I saw a post about uh, Energizer wanting to make a phone. What? What? Wait a minute. Maybe the battery's really good on that. Yeah, it was supposed to have like a huge battery. I- I'd buy a really good phone battery on it. What? What? This Say it. it. Okay. Okay. I think I would be <coughs> in on that phone. If the charging thing was the bunny hitting the drums <laughs> or the, the bar going like... They'd probably do that. Oh my god, <laughs> don't do that! <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing, actually. And then the phone case is like, is like the shape like the bunny thing. You're like, do they still use the bunny? Yeah. Is that still... Yeah, I think that's like their mascot. Okay. I don't know, maybe they, they upped it and now it's like a poochie bunny when no one likes it anymore. Oh. A poochie like, bunny? Like, you know, like a new so hip bunny. Like oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It's like a hipster bunny. We don't bang the drums of war, man. I'm surprised, like... SJWs don't get on um what? on the bunny. Because, Why? Well, no, like it's support because it's a punk pink bunny, but it's cool and he has sunglasses. Like, look how cool this bunny is. How no one's like talking about like that bunny. Oh, maybe it's no, just no. maybe it's just <laughs> not that interesting. Yeah, that, yeah exactly. But some, but you know, SJWs do. No, like, but I think know. I think it's been in their mind. It's been like let's say like it's been in their like lives for so long. It's nothing new. It's like oh, it's been here, whatever. But I bet you anything, if one of them, the big ones, go like, you ever notice energetic bunnies like this, whatever? Then I think he'd start booming and be like, oh shit, he's right. And then that would be the new symbol of like coolness. Peace. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. The new symbol, yeah. This. That's it. Oh, the, bunny. Ah, the bunny. Oh god. Right oh, that's no. that's the Canfest symbol. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean yeah. though? <clears throat> when you do that at the yeah. at the gate, you get a ten percent off your your ten <laughs> percent off your bill of a million dollars. All right, nice. No, you get upgraded to a, a a neighborhood suite. You get a whole neighborhood to yourself. Oh wow! No, Just no, you get you get upgraded to a to a bathroom privileges. So so if someone you gotta use the bathroom <laughs> real bad, you get to go like right away. It doesn't matter. You get to go in front of them. Yeah. <laughs> 
Even if someone's in there already, yeah. you stick your hand in, you do this, and, like, and they ah, know, oh, oh, it's one of you guys. Okay, I'm mid poop right now, but I'm just gonna get up and go. Yeah. <laughs> and what the heck? Microsoft's planning to put Xbox Live on Nintendo Switch. Sick. What? How like, do they do that? What 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 does that involve? Like, what would you get? Like uh, all the exclusive all it games? Says, no, well, no, maybe like like the. Like the platform, like all like all the services, like the servers and all that shit. Like oh. the voice chat. Yeah, they need a voice chat. Yeah. What do you mean they do? Don't you see the thing on on the play on the online thing? It always says, "Hey, make sure you download this app." So you can no. Talk to people. <laughs> when I played, <clears throat> my friend wanted to do the NES games online. Uh huh. So he called me, and he's like, "All right, let's play." And he asked me, "Do you ha- like do you have the app?" I'm like. Do we need the app? We're talking on the phone right now. Like, <laughs> what's the difference? So yeah, we just went on speakerphone and we did that, and that was perfectly fine. I don't think I need an extra app. So wait, so if you if they plan on uh, like putting it on the Switch, would you have to pay like two? Yeah, I know. What what is the or would it, or would the Nintendo one all be like? Oh, here, let's say you pay twenty dollars a no, month. No, th- this is how they're gonna raise the prices of for what? the Nintendo Online. From tw- from five dollars to twenty five dollars. Sure, yeah. A month. Ugh. It's not even five dollars a month. It's like. Is it four ninety nine? For us, yeah. I mean, okay, so it's it's twenty five dollars for a year. So that's like less than three dollars. Yeah, less than a month. It? Yeah, he's right. Basically. Yeah. yeah, that's right. I mean, if you want to just keep paying month after month, <laughs> you could do that. That's still pretty. That's still relatively cheap, though. I think. No, you know what uh, Nintendo's online needs? They need a messaging service. <clears throat> no, that's what Xbox Live is. What do you mean a messaging service? Well, like, like say you want to play, you see your friend online playing yeah. Smash Brothers. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I have Smash Brothers. Maybe we could play. There's no way through the system yeah. to contact them and say, you know, oh, invite yeah, yeah. them to a game or, you know, let's play. Yeah, no, like just, just text them. You like, actually, like how I text yeah, you, like stop playing this. Yeah, game. you got to text them. And then... You know, they may or may not see their phone or hear it because they're playing a game right now. <laughs> no, but they would if... But they would, like... Wouldn't it just show up in the thing? Like, if you're playing the game? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. if you have to text them on your phone... Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Okay. Then they don't look at their phone. They're not paying attention to their phone because they're playing a game. Mm-hmm. But if it's in the game, then it pops so up it on pops the screen. Up, yeah. And you say, oh, okay. Well, if, that, if that's what Microsoft's trying to do with Xbox Live on Switch, then that's what's going to happen. Right? If they bring over the whole, like, platform and messaging and voice they, chat... They just need to get some of their people over to Nintendo and teach them how to, <laughs> how to make a proper online service. No, if Nintendo wanted to make a proper online service, they'd put the money in, but they didn't want to. I think Nintendo's cheap. Like, how can we make things harder for people? But yet, it's, and, but yet save, save money by not spending a lot this, of money. This is what I've learned about Nintendo. They want to make the best thing, but they also want it to be cheap. Exactly. But yeah. then they realize that's not possible, so they're mm-hmm. just like, all right, we're going with the cheap option, Yeah. and what can we take out? Exactly. <laughs> Cause like, like I feel like, with the Wii and the Wii U, they're like, you know, we we could have put in a better processor, but mm-hmm. then that cost would be passed on to the consumer. Exactly. We wanted our system to be three hundred dollars instead mm-hmm. of five hundred dollars. And like their online thing was barely even noticeable. Like, all, what did they have for online? Like, like you can play <clears throat> Smash Brothers online, but it was really bad, and they had that that Wii. For, like, the Wii U? No, the regular Wii. The like, Wii? Uh, like, starting from the Wii. Like, they had, like, Smash Brothers Online, Brawl Online. Was it Brawl? Yeah. Yeah. And then they had, like, that weird, like, you know, that Wii, like, Everybody Votes channel? I don't know what that is. You don't know what that is? No. What the fuck? It's basically, like, it's, it's like a poll, but, like, it's, it's online. Like, you, like, say, which one, which one is this, which, which item is your favorite? And you pick, and then you see how it compares to the rest of the world. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't think I ever used that. Really? Yeah. It was, it was fun for, like, five minutes. <laughs> And then that's it. Well, at least at that point, it was free. Yeah, that's true. It was free. Yeah. Like right now, you're you're was just paying for the privilege to be able to play online. Was and it? And there's nothing case? else. Yeah. What do you want? The caramel one? Bell? No, I'm good. But what wasn't... But the Wii U was also free, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Switch is the first time they had a pay service. Which is weird because nothing's really changed. And there's not a lot on there. Like, yeah. Like I got the... Uh, I paid. I, I paid for a month. And all I got was that stupid Nintendo thing. I'm like, this is really bad. That was fun for like a couple of days. And I'm then you a... realize, I don't care about most of those games. Exactly, I don't care about most of these games. And the ones that are, are good, like 
like Mario Brothers, like it's a great game, but I played that a million <coughs> times as a kid. Exactly. I don't really feel like playing it now. <laughs> Why couldn't they give us like SNES or even like GameCube would be great? You ever one of those guys that um I uh, like there's a bunch of people I know that do the this is the game I play like once a year. Oh. You ever have that with like, any game? <clears throat> no. Yeah. I always thought I would do that with like Chrono Trigger, but then uh, playing play through an, an RP. That's not Chrono Trigger. Right? <laughs> what is that? That's, That's Chrono Final Trigger. Fantasy VI, man. Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger. Oh, I don't really hate that song. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't like the idea of having to play through an RPG once a year, <laughs> like the same one. Who does that? I'm saying like there's some people that play like um, yeah. like a game once a year. Oh yeah. So like I don't know like. I can, I can see myself doing that with Ocarina of Time, but that's about it. No, I, I've never done that. Yeah, but, but I've never done that. I know people do that with books. They do that with movies. Why books? I don't know. Some people like reading Lord of the Rings once a year or something like Is that. Is that you? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some people do. Just some people. You should do Lord of the Rings marathon every year. No, you man. Right. And then Harry Potter the year after. You two now no. are pure joy. Yeah, the I first feel six like... months Harry Potter, the next six months Lord of the Rings. No, I feel like I could... Mm. Back to the Future? Mm. No, I can't do any movie once a year. Really? Mm. Like, even, like, I love Star Wars. I can't watch that every year. Because I feel like it's too fresh. I need, I need like, ten years. And then I kind of forget a little bit. I go back, I'm like, oh, I remember all this. It's cool. See, I feel like... I, I have that same thing, but then, like, I'll watch, like, the first, like, five, ten minutes, and everything will flood back to me, and be like, I don't need to watch anymore. I, like, it, I'm, I'm reminded about all the stuff. Yeah. Speaking of which, I uh, signed up for the Funimation thing, their account, Funimation streaming service, because I wanted to watch Escaflone. <laughs> what? Yeah, man. <laughs> I feel, I feel. I was, uh, I was cleaning up this shelf back here a little bit. I found my Escaflone movie box set, and it had soundtrack in it. I was listening to the soundtrack, and I was like, man, I really want to watch this show now. I never finished it before, either, so Did they finish I'm into it? it now. Escaflone? Yeah. It's only 26 episodes. Oh, okay. It's interesting. The one that they're streaming still has the old, uh, like, Sunrise logo or whatever. Do you remember Sunrise? Yeah, they're the people who did it. Yeah. Oh, is that... They're the uh, Japanese Oh, I thought company. they were just distributors. No, like, no, they're, uh... they're the Japanese company. Oh, okay. Too. Never mind. Are they still around? Yeah, they, their their main thing is Gundam. That's oh. what they're known for. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember seeing that a lot in in Gundam stuff too. Yeah, that's interesting. Do they still have the the techno pop opening where they just say Escaflone anymore all the time? <laughs> no, or it's it's it? it's the full Japanese. Ah, show. lame. Yeah, Escaflone. <laughs> I don't I don't remember that. You don't? Oh, no, it's so good. I do. It's so bad. <laughs> I don't remember that. It's just, it's just yeah, people just sing Escaflone like on different tones. Yeah. At the end, of the day, he said it really seductively. I'm like, what? I gotta find that. Escaflone. <laughs> it's like, it's like, what, what, what? Can, can you write a song about this? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, just, just sing the song. What was that movie? Like, I heard a lot of good things about the movie in comparison to the show. Is it's that... completely different. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, even like the it's art style. Kind of a retelling. Of the, of like, the show, do, do they use the same beats, or is it like completely like? Here's 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 the way I I look at the movie. Movie, it's like, <clears throat> however, whichever way the characters are in the show, yeah, they amplify their personalities. Oh, no. So like, all the people who are kind of sad and depressed are like s- like suicidally <laughs> depressed in this movie. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you remember the character Dilando? He's yeah. like super crazy. Yeah, yeah, he's like the blonde He's like guy, ultra right? crazy in the movie. <laughs> like ultra violent, ultra crazy. Okay. It's like just everything is kind of on this extreme level and really dark and depressing. You know why? Because they can't express the emotions to 25 episodes, so they just compact it in like two hours. But that, <laughs> that opening in the movie is fucking amazing. What, what where is... where Escafoni guy's like attacking the ship and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's great. Good yeah, stuff. that was cool. So it. He he's a guy. I'm trying to remember the story. He was on. He's as a, a dragon. He's a dragon that turns into a robot. No, it's 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 his robot. They call him Guy Melifs. 
Okay. It's like a Gundam, basically. <laughs> okay. Uh, he slayed a dragon. He has dragon heart power, right? Yeah, he got this like gem out of the dragon that okay. he uses to power his his guy Melif. But it doesn't turn into a dragon itself. It can transform into like a flying vehicle type of thing that looks like a dragon. Oh, okay, okay. But uh, it's mostly just like a mobile suit. And then that girl comes from the future. No, she comes from uh, Earth, but on their planet, like Earth is like a, a moon. They call it the Mystic Moon. Oh, okay. And it's like some magical place that they don't go to anymore. Oh, okay. They can't okay. go to. Their ancestors used to her, I think. Oh, okay. And then she, <clears throat> she has to save the world. I, I don't know. Crystal? I'm only like three episodes in. I can't remember most of this show, so. <laughs> okay. Like I said, yeah, the movie, I'm more familiar with the movie, but the movie's pretty different. I feel when I was watching it as a kid, I found it a bit like maybe too adult, so I kind of turned off by it, and I... It seems, yeah, compared to some of the other stuff that was airing at the yeah. time, it's it's more adult, but it's not like that yeah, adult. Yeah, it's not that adult. Yeah, like it's it's, like it's it's just when we were like fourteen or whatever when that was on, it seemed pretty adult. It, it, it wasn't no Digimon. I mean, I, you know. sure. The craziest thing about Escaflonia that I remember like growing up mm-hmm. is realizing that the art style is very Bishonin. Where it's like the, the guys look super pretty. Yeah, and yeah. And as a kid, I didn't, I never like realized that. Yeah. But then I went back and like, holy shit, this was like catered to girls. Yeah. And then oh. It's just like cool, like robot fighting guys. And yeah. like, guys would like it too. It, it really is. Cause like even the Japanese intro, if you, li- you like look at the lyrics, it's mm-hmm. all like stuff about, will I find love? And like, what does love mean? And all this kind of stuff. It's yeah. like very, it's very directed at, uh, at young girls. Oh. But yeah, all the guys look like even even the bad guys. Yeah. they're all like these pretty boys. Yeah, with like like blonde hair, and whatever. Just like really slim, and they got like sparkly eyes yeah. and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool show though. It is a good. Show. It still has that. Uh, uh, do you remember the, the track "Dance of Curse"? You gotta sing it. It starts with the violins going. Oh, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh God. Let's go. Floating. Uh, 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 oh wait, so maybe that's where they got the opening title. No, song. I think they got it. I think they did their own thing. Oh, you think so? Okay. Yeah. Well, these guys just sing Oscar Four. I know. Yeah, so we could do we it could too. Go, <laughs> just put like different choirs. The, it has a it has a techno closing it does. theme though. Oh wait. Like the Japanese one. Oh, the Japanese. It's really weird. Maybe it's the same one. They just dubbed it. Maybe. Over, <laughs> and they, but they just. Or maybe they looked at that and said, "Well, it's got a techno closing. We should have a techno <laughs> opening." <laughs> Yeah, it's a cool show. No, I just started thinking, like, I wanted to watch some old shows that I never really saw. Like, so what is fun? An- was it easy to say fun animation? Cause, no, cause fun they animation. Have the rights, they have the rights to it. Oh, they have the rights to yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, I had man. no idea, actually, because I was just... I was hoping, like, Crunchyroll or something would have it. They didn't have it. No, they don't. Oh. Crunchyroll doesn't seem to have... A lot of backlog stuff? Yeah. No. Their stuff is more, like, seasonal. Uh, yeah, because I was looking... I wanted to watch Trigun and Cowboy Bebop. They have that. On what? On Crunchyroll. Oh, do they? I was searching. I didn't. Oh, maybe they got rid of it because there was the there was the Funimation thing. They had a partnership, mm. so maybe they they got it from Funimation, but then they split. Oh. So. Yeah, because I just yeah. saw a page that was like all informational, but there was no videos. Mm. I remember I remember watching some Cowboy Bebop <laughs> on it though. Yeah. And they probably got rid of it. I don't know. Yeah, I want to watch that. Trigun. I'm going to watch as much as I can on the Funimation thing before my 14-day free trial is up. Oh, yeah, anime boy, Phil. Yeah, yeah. man, I'm back. You know why? Because people got me to watch uh, High Score Girl on Netflix. Oh, really? So I was like, all right, I'm kind of back in that this. Was, that was the show? <laughs> yeah. Because oh. it had all the video games, I Street know. Fighter stuff. It was okay. like, that's cool. It was like, the, the story itself wasn't for me. Because a lot of the times... I. You know, every time they got all, like, serious, and it was about, like, you know, this girl likes that guy, I'm just like, these kids are, like, 11, 12 years old. You just want to hear them talk about I don't care started. about how they feel. <laughs> how do you feel? How So, okay, how, how, how deep does the meta go when they talk about that stuff for you? About the games? Yeah. Not super deep. Not super deep? Like... Okay. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, they're not like. Could you tell talking about frame data and like, stuff? <laughs> could you tell that like the person who wrote it was like a fan, or does it just sound yeah. like they like looked at like some? No, no, I think they the people who are writing it know about these games because okay. it's not just Street Fighter. There's a lot of uh, old school arcade games in there. Um, it's it's really like the main character is just really obsessed with these games, and uh, he just 
goes around to arcades a uh, lot and plays them. Yeah. All right, now you gotta watch One Punch. No. What? Oh, no. That's the good one. We watched it here. I watched one episode. Yeah, but we shouldn't get to the good one. Nah. I'm just gonna watch watch the old anime. Oh, he's gonna be old anime Phil. That's yeah. okay. He'll be like the like the guy who who has a huge back catalog of like old anime information. It's something good from 1993. Are you gonna go back and watch a uh, serial experiments lane? <sighs> I I like to because I remember I tried watching that show. That, and it, that's a confusing it fucking. Kind of like freaked me out a bit because <laughs> it was so weird and uh, just kind of tense all the time. Yeah. So I didn't. I didn't continue watching. I watched maybe which, two or three which episodes. Which show is it? Serial Exper- Experiments Lane. What's that? It's horror. What core? No horror. Is it horror anime? No, it's kind of. It's a little bit psychological. Psycho- yeah, I was gonna say psychological. But it's really strange. Yeah, it's just one of the weirder animes. <clears throat> Does it make sense? Or are they just being weird for the sake of being weird? It it makes sense, but I don't. I don't think you're gonna get. It out of the first episode, like out of watching, it's one of those things where you watch back and you, oh, and like, you notice all the like ghost in the snow. shit. No, not, not even not even the elevator thing. It's just, <laughs> it's more just like I don't know. I feel like that's the one show where you'll get you'll like pick up on things and then you'll watch it and then you'll watch like, it again and like you'll pick up context. on more things and then you'll like the more you watch it, the more things like you'll start picking so you, up. You on. have to watch the whole thing. Like you can't just sort of sample it. I don't. I don't think so. Huh. I don't think you can. Okay. Because, like, I remember that first episode just being, like, at some point, there's, like, ten minutes of just quietness, and the girl's just, like, kind of looking at her computer and just, like, I think she was, like, yeah. building a computer or something, yeah. and it's just quiet for ten minutes, you're just like, what the fuck is going on? Right, right. And then that's how it ended. What? Yeah. But then what was the, like, second and third viewing? Like, what was the revelations? Uh, it, 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 it's, uh, it's, it's hard, because it's been a long time, but, like... I don't know. It's like a bunch of like character stuff and like other things that are like in a room that kind of like relate uh, back to like what's oh that you got like pay attention to yeah oh uh, okay it's what are you doing just making sure the recording's still going <laughs> <laughs> oh no please please end it I'm ready to go to bed no sleepy time I think I think I'm sleepy gonna watch town? Evangelion when it comes to Netflix yeah yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna do that I'd like Why? to see if I understand more of it now that I'm older yeah see I had the exact same because. Okay, I know the big joke is like, you know, they say Jesus thing and then they put a thing and say, oh, that's that's the Jesus thing. And then we're like, that's just bad writing. But I kind of feel like maybe if I go into it now, I'll like realize more things about that show. Maybe. Where it's like, oh, the Lance of Lodginess. Oh, yeah, the thing that like fucking stabbed Jesus. Yeah, okay, I get it. Now you're using it to name this thing. Like, whatever. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole concept of the show is just like these like Christian symbolism stuff I, and then but I think there's more to it nah I think people just look into it more mm, I don't know I want to see the new movies I want to see what they do with that no the new movies suck yeah it's like the the best way to put it is okay Phil will relate to this it's like the original Star Wars and then George Lucas comes yeah, and changes where, it yeah where it's like you know there's a struggle to make those and mm-hmm. then now he has a bunch of money and just makes the prequels on green screen <laughs> yeah so <laughs> there's no real struggle with with moon movies just like oh. it's all flashy oh, okay. it's all style there's like no substance behind it well I mean uh, can't they just aren't they just using the same source material no they changed it ew well third um, impact happened uh, third or fourth impact four, I don't know how many impacts there sixth were sixth impact but yeah that's kind of <clears throat> that's kind of the way I feel about like Dragon Ball Super I mean, I haven't watched a lot of Dragon Ball Super, but I feel like... It's not good. I feel like they they know what fans like in Dragon Ball now, mm-hmm. and they're just like, let's do that. So so here's my thing about Dragon Ball Super. When it first started airing, I know a lot of people were saying it's like really shit. It is. But then, does it change over the course of like the 5,000 episodes that follow, or is it just it like changes. people just accepted that it's not going to be... No, because in the beginning, like the stakes are... It's not too high, but like it keeps it interesting. But then towards the end, they like they they like, they make it almost like a Frieza saga type situation. Mm. Yeah, like Frieza's back. See, it's all the fan service, man. Just bring Frieza back. They brought Android Seventeen back. Yeah, he's got like 17. a family or something. He's a park ranger. <laughs> <laughs> of course he would be. Oh my god. Uh, he's like, I must protect the animals. Shouldn't like Android Sixteen be the park ranger? He's dead. Yeah, and Android 17, wasn't he dead too? 
Did he die? Mm, I don't know. I thought I thought they all died, honestly. Well, I know eighteen didn't die. No, I thought she died. I don't know. No, Sorry. man, she got she got spit out because Gohan was so badass he punched her out of her or whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Is that true? Yeah. But he didn't punch out eighteen. Well, I don't think he had power over, like, I'm going to punch out, like, an oh. android. I think he just beat him up so much that he, like, threw him out or something. He threw up, uh, he beat me up so much I'm going to throw up my food. I would if someone punched me in the stomach that hard. <laughs> so, wait, why don't, why don't, like, they have the extra just dragon's balls, but they never bring back, uh, 16? Oh, I don't think they can, because it's not a living thing. I don't know. Because they, they wish for I mean, Android 18 to be a real person. I mean, you can't... Well, yeah, 16 was, like, more Android than the other two. Oh, other was twins. it? Oh. Uh, but, I mean, you don't have to say, I want him back to life. You can just say, like, can we have Android 16 again? <laughs> like, can someone just make him? <laughs> yeah, make him the way he was? Just rebuild him, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, why not? They could... I mean, they could still do that, you know, just to, to space out more events during Super. But, at the, like, what's the point of having 16, though? Like... What's the point of having any of these guys back? Yeah, exactly. What's the point of having Yamcha back? What's the point of hey, having hey, back? Hey, Yamcha, Yamcha has to stay Yamcha forever. Yamcha sucks balls. Yeah, we'll be, Yamcha he's, is he's, one of the best characters in Dragon Ball incorrect. Fighters. <laughs> in Dragon Ball Fighters, he's one of the best characters. Is, is he like A tier? S tier? No, but he's pretty good. Okay. You know, I put him on my team as a joke. Yeah. I thought I would be the only guy with Yamcha and on everyone, there. And then everyone has and then Yamcha. These pro players started playing Yamcha, and he's actually really good. I was like, okay. They should have just made Yamcha the Dan. Yeah. And just made his super, like, a taunt. <laughs> it's just a super high expensive taunt. No, they gotta give him the Wolf's Fang Fist, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Long hair Yamcha or short hair Yamcha? Long, Long hair Yamcha. <laughs> yeah, short hair Yamcha. Short, looks like a tool. Shit. Looks like a tool, man. Yeah. He starts to look too much like everybody else. Yeah, he looks like, like Vegeta if he had short hair. Short hair Yamcha looks like he found out a thing called New Metal. <laughs> 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 oh, I really like that look. But he doesn't keep it, right? I think in Super he gets his long hair back. No, the best Yamcha was the one when he had like that weird kind of, not like the short spiky hair, but uh, there was one point when it was just like short like Gohan's hair. Remember? Yeah. Gohan had that bowl cut. Yeah. And Yamcha had, Yamcha hair. had a bowl cut? Not really a bowl cut, but it was short like that. Was really? It? Yeah. Was it like, was it messy? Like, Do you remember what saga this was during? I'm trying to put context. So was it like in. Before the Android thing? Before like, the Android. Like, Before. between Frieza and Android, some of those, like, filler things. Hmm. What? I feel like that's when it was. You're like, man. <coughs> wow, <coughs> that's pretty obscure. All right. No, no, Touche Phil. That. He knows his Yamcha. <laughs> you know he Yamcha's knows the best, Yamcha. man. He knows his Yamcha not. haircut. He knows, he knows that. I'd pick Yajirobe over my team rather than Yamcha. Man, they haven't put Yajirobe in that game yet. They're not going to put him. They're putting Yajirobe like... cut off Vegeta's tail. He was, yeah, he was a hero. He was of use. Why like Yamcha. We Did just it... died from a fucking Cyberman. <laughs> is, is evil, uh, is uh, Kid Buu in there? Kid Buu? Not yet. In the game? Yeah. Yeah, he is. He is Kid Buu? Yeah. They have Fat Buu and Kid Buu. Oh. Okay. But no Yajirobe. And they put all these like super characters in there, but no Yajirobe. Do they have uh, Chi-Chi? No. They have Vidal? Uh, yeah, she's just like newly released DLC. Mm -hmm. But Go Gohan helps her fight. She has some kind of like the great Saiyaman tag thing. Yeah. I don't know if it's kind of like... Like 18 had a super move where 17 shows up. Yeah. Or like one of her moves, 17 shows up and does different things. Like, kind of like a counter attack. Mm-hmm. I think it's almost. I think it's maybe the same case with these two. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, that, those are my anime adventures. I'm back, baby. For how long? Uh, till I'm done escaloping. Till, till 14 day <laughs> right. trial runs up. Oh, okay, so you gotta watch all the anime in 14. Till days. uh, well, you know, I'm I'm gonna be off it for a while. Then they'll put out High Score Girl season two, and I'll watch that. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm on and off anime fan right now. But shield hero, Phil. What? Shield hero. What's, What's that? that? He, he fights with a shield. So he's like what? considered the worst because there's spear hero, there's sword <laughs> hero, and there's bow hero. So they can't hurt him. Yeah, exactly. They can't hurt him, but he can't fight. So he's the best. Oh, he can, he can, can he just ram into them or something? A lot of shields work. Can he throw a shield like Captain America? No. It's, oh. like, it's like attached to his arm. He can't like... Oh. So like when he takes off his clothes, it's still like there. Nice. Oh. Can he just 
Yeah, he can hit people with a shield. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But I, I don't think, the, like, okay, well, I mean, more in the... I don't think it offers plus five attack. I think it's only plus five defense, so it doesn't really do anything. Hmm. Okay. Shield hero. That's that's a real show? Yep. He gets accused of, of raping someone. That's how that's how modern these animes are now. It's great. <laughs> no, it's not. That's really dumb. <sighs> I'm so full. I don't know. I, can, I think I'm like round two <laughs> now. Yeah. Okay. Man, you have all this fat on your table, on your on your. Yeah, plate. I cut some of it off. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Fat's good for you, man. Yeah. Uh, keeps not this fat. <laughs> no, keeps... uh, my sweater keeps me warm. What are you talking about? <laughs> but That's what made, you think. Is, like... it made, is it made out of fat? Yeah. Nice. It's got one of those fat sweaters. Fat sweaters. Um. Yeah, I don't know. What have you been watching? I asked you, like, you're being rude right now. <laughs> no, that's what always happens to me, too. Like, I'll put food in my mouth, and then someone will ask me a question. I'm like, oh, should I answer right now? Or just swallow, no, like, just eat talk. and swallow this no, first? Like, chew while you're talking to them with the piece of food find Or you just do that. you do the thing, or you just, like, chew, and you're like... <laughs> And you're trying to answer, and you're trying to let them know, I'm going to get to you soon. Yeah, I, I do that sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, one second. And I swallow, I'm like, okay. Yeah, you do that big gulp. Yeah, the big gulp. Like, oh, that didn't feel good. <laughs> and you need to go get the drink. I could have yeah. choked. Now it's even longer. Just wait, wait, wait. <laughs> ah, I'm choking. I've been watching uh, animals eat each other on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a YouTube channel? No, like, just you type in. I like, like, I like watching uh, snakes devour stuff. Oh, yeah. That's kind of interesting. That's weird. There's, uh, there's this one of uh, like, this big like uh, penguin colony. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you just see like a pelicans, like a big sack of pelicans, just oh, like walk, walk in, just go hop, rop, rop, and then just swallow like baby penguins and so, stuff. So wait, pelicans? <laughs> yeah, pelicans. Does it put it in the little like? Yeah, puts it in the thing. thing and it it the swallows pouch. it whole. And then it does it like go like this and like it slides down its gullet? Yeah, really? like the seagulls. Yeah, they, can't they choke eat it that? live, so it's, just, it's oh. digested like. They can't choke oh. on that. I guess not. They they deep throat man. Jeez. Yeah, birds don't chew. Birds just like swallow everything. Oh, that's true. Yeah. No, but like something kicking and like kicking it alive is kind of fucked up. Yeah, animals are fucked up, dude. It's horrible. Yeah. yeah. There are. Uh, I watched some other videos. A lot of it. Well, not a lot, but most of it is penguin stuff. <laughs> penguin stuff. I should be your festival penguin stuff. Um, so sometimes uh, when uh, like baby penguins are born, and mm -hmm. the, but then like I guess like they die within their first three days or whatever. There's like a maternity instinct in those other penguins, mm -hmm. and they'll go to other like penguins that have kids, and they'll like start biting and fighting them, and see like that's my kid now. Oh, like, really? I want that kid. Wow. What the but, so sometimes they'll win. Yeah. But because they didn't make that like birth connection, yeah. They'll like waddle away, and then like when they like I guess when they go back to find it, like say hey I have food, because yeah. they didn't make that connection. Yeah. Like they can't find that kid, and the kid will just die. <laughs> what? Yeah, man. Yeah, animals are weird, man. Animals are <clears throat> it's weird, man. There's this other video I watched. It's of a baby dodo. Okay. And it's just it's just um. Dodos are what reminds me of those. Wait, aren't are. they extinct? Maybe I, think, do, do, I, do, do, I don't do, think they're do, extinct. I don't think no, dodos they're... are dead. Oh, are they? Are you thinking about puffins? I don't know. Okay, there's a baby bird. I thought it was a dodo. Is this bird. the thing from the Last Jedi? That little like porg thingy. Yeah, they're porgs. Yes, baby porgs. Okay. God they're it. in their nest, right? And they don't know anything, right? They just yeah. know stay in the nest and, and they I'll fall be fine, off, right? Yeah. So then a bunch of mice come. <clears throat> into the nest. Oh, you told me about this. And then, and then, the, and then the, the baby doesn't know what to do, so it's just standing still. And the mice just start eating it alive. Aww. And the baby's just like, "Fuck! What the hell? Like, I don't know. I'm not. I don't know anything else. So I'm just gonna stand here and just let it happen." Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> like, nature is literally like a snake eating its own tail. Yeah. That's all it is. Like That's they don't. They don't have rules like we do. So. <laughs> It's hard, at the same time, it's hard to, like, feel really bad for them, because that's just the way their worlds work. That's the way nature works, but, yeah, yeah that's, that's, like, horrible. Although I feel, <laughs> I feel like if we didn't have any constructs, we'd be almost the same. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah, something bad's happening, you're just like, well, I guess it's just gonna happen. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, I can't go to a lawyer and complain about this or whatever. But also, it's, it's with an infant, though, right? Yeah, like, they don't that's know the anything. That's, like... that's the part that's, like, it's, it's... But do they feel the way we feel, you know? What? what are you maybe, about? maybe. Like infants? I doubt it. Maybe like, no, animals, like, you know, 
in their head when they're getting attacked. It's like, well, gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, the endorphins really <laughs> like pleasure. I, 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 I kind of feel if like a toddler were to be eat, like you know eaten by mice, it'd probably be like be, like it wouldn't know what to do either way. So same thing. Yeah, because like an adult bird, like if they saw that, they'd be like, "Yo, back the fuck off!" Oh, they'll eat the mice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to come after me? Aren't there like ones where like the baby chicks get out of the nest and they just fall to their deaths? Yeah, there's a lot of those. Yeah, there's this one. It's like part of the process where oh, yeah. there's like a big cliff that they're in. Yeah, and then I guess like they're like old enough that they yeah, they have to jump. Yeah, and they just jump, and then they just jump, and then if they survive, they survive, and if and they, they don't, don't, they, they don't. Die, yeah. And the, and the birds, like the, the mom and dad, they just keep walking. Just like, oh, yeah. hey, guys, either, either come with me or don't. <laughs> Did you see that one video where it's like, I think there's like this, um, the deer or something, and it's giving birth, and the, like the baby comes out, and it's like still covered in all the, like the... the ectoplasma, the, yeah. Yeah, ectoplasma. And then you see the mom, it's like, because it's, it's laying there, like just after giving birth, and then like you see its head like pops up and looks to the right, and just then it just darts, just darts out of the way. And then there's this, I think it was a lion, just comes up, and then starts like starts sniffing the baby, and then the video ends. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think Joe China. Rogan. I think Joe Rogan like retweeted it, and then Joe Rogan, he's like, "Wow, nature doesn't give a fuck," because <laughs> it's like, well, I think because he's because like, if it's the mother, it's like survival of the yeah, you know. So it's like, oh yeah. There's one other video mm-hmm. where it was um I think it was like um a bison. Mm-hmm. He was protecting its uh, kid from from like the pack of hyenas that were coming. So, like, the hyenas would come and, like, try to bite the kid, but then they'd, like, the bison, the bison would, like, come run in. off and stuff. Yeah. And then, like, slowly but surely, like, the camera pans out, and you notice all the other bisons are, like, far, far away. away. And yeah. you see all, like, these 20 hyenas just <laughs> circling around. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> this isn't going to end well for anyone. <laughs> That's funny. I think it also depends on the species, too, right? Yeah. Animals, man. <clears throat> Fucked up. Yeah, if I really went on, on some level where we, we'd get to the same point yeah, that's at true. some point. Yeah, sure. I saw a video of these uh, people. Um, I don't know where they were, but they saw like cheetahs. Mm-hmm. It was this family. And then the parents got out of the car to like take close up pictures oh, of the cheetah. That's smart. And then the cheetah started like kind of running at them, right? Yeah. And then the dad just like took off. Yeah. And the kid was standing there. <laughs> And the mom had to grab the kid and <laughs> run back to the car. <laughs> and his dad was just like, well, it's, he's it's, at the car now, but, you know, he didn't yeah, get inside, yeah, but yeah. he's like, come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're messed up, too. There's this funny thing this guy does for research or something. He's like a, I guess he's like a wild cat, like, mm-hmm. researcher or whatever. And he'll do this thing of, like, so, like, let's say, like, a lion or a leopard is, like, in a big cage or whatever. Like, a really, really big cage, right? It's like, let's just say that there's a fence, right? Okay. So, he'll put his back to the oh, fence. Yeah, and, and then, like, it's just instinct for the kid, the yeah, yeah. cats to just, like, come and, like, try and, like, pounce on like, the like, they Like, they'll slowly creep up behind you. Yeah. And if you turn your head even, like, a little bit to the thing, they'll stop. And you turn it back, they'll... St- again, yeah, yeah. I see. Like, even if you do it at a zoo, it'll work. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like, uh, there was this one where... It was, like, this, like, like, a, like, a toddler. She was, like... You know, her back was against the glass. The, like the lion did the same thing, and but the mom was still filming it. <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, don't like she." She told the t- toddler not to turn around, like not to go facing the tiger. I mean, the tiger just face the mom, and then you see something like. You know, so when you go to the zoo and you don't see the animals, just turn your back. Literally, yeah. And they'll come out. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's it's their instinct, right? I think uh, some guy was saying when he goes like uh, in Colorado, when he goes like hiking and stuff. Because there's mountain lions there, he like put fake eyes on the back of his hat. Oh, really? Yeah. Are they googly eyes? Googly eyes. <laughs> so if the if the if because the, the 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 mountain lions won't won't attack you if they have, if they think you have vision on them. Mm. So he does that. That's smart, I guess. <laughs> yeah, if it, it works. It works. Then. If it works, yeah. But they'll still kill you regardless. <laughs> they get close enough and they yeah, realize exactly. you're, you're nothing. You're nothing. Yeah. Did you watch anything else? I watched a, a penguin get raped by a seal. <laughs> what? Because you know how like um, I, everyone goes through that cycle, and then like you know when it's fuck time, they oh, want yeah, to fuck. Yeah. Like, so they know. didn't win, so they find whatever they can find <laughs> to fuck it. Just fuck it. <laughs> what? I didn't yeah. know that was a thing. Yeah, it's not. It's not pleasant. The the penguins making a bunch of noises. But oh then, man! <laughs> but did the penguins die after? 
I think some of them die from the the weight. Yeah. But I think the other one. I I don't know if they never went into the <coughs> the, the, the afterward process of mm-hmm. what happened to them. Okay. I don't know. Some weird uh, penguin seal hybrids out there now. <laughs> well, that's how you get like those mythical creatures, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like a minotaur. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those those are real. <laughs> someone, someone fucked a bull, and then you got you know, or a centaur. Yeah, those are in Harry Potter. Are they? Yeah. Are they muggles? No, muggles <laughs> are humans. What are they? What are those called? Truggles. Do they have a thing? Do they have a name? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but they all live like in the same world, right? Like like centaurs and magi- like wizards. Yeah. In the new movies, they had a thing, instead of calling them muggles, they called them nomadge. Yeah, I remember that, because he said, hey, that's that's only in Britain, or whatever, that's what they call it, but in America, they're called they're nomadge. nomadge. So each country that's, has that's but then, name. But then, but then the French, in mm-hmm. that movie, they had non magique. <laughs> I think muggles it. should just be... Nomadge just sounds lazy. That's like your first draft of, like, what do you want to name them? Muggle sounds lazy. <laughs> yeah, that's like the temp name you put in. Yeah. I don't know what to call it. I call them muggles. It sounds silly. No, muggle is fine. Muggle, no, muggle works in that universe because a bunch of other things sound. Oh, okay, no, okay. no magic because it's just based on <coughs> no magic. Yeah. But then they shorten it. <laughs> like muggle they sounds just really, like a, they take out two words, two letters. And yeah. Then it's, it's like they're just too they're too lazy to just say the rest of it. One more syllable, guys. Those are bad movies, anyways. So it's fine. Are they making another one? Are they going to make a trilogy? For which yeah, one? I think there's supposed to be a third one. Yeah. Did, did it do box office wise? Did it do good? I have no idea. Yeah. I would one? assume so, just because it's Fantastic related to Harry Party. Pa- uh, Parter. The first Parter. one did. The second one not didn't as do good as well as the first one. Mm. I think there's one more, right? Yeah, because they didn't really finish this this story. Is Johnny Depp still the bad guy? Yep. All right. Is he like the big bad guy? Of yeah. The... Oh. Yeah. But he's not connected to Voldemort, is he? Mm, no. Is he like the uncle of Voldemort? Uncle, uncle no. Mort. Or did he put like, did he chop off Voldemort's hand and replace it with his so he has like blood, the hand of what? Voldemort or something? What? I don't know. Is that like a Metal Gear reference? No, it's, well, I mean, yes, but it's also an anime thing. Oh, okay. They do that in anime? Yeah. Do they do it in Dragon Ball? Well, I mean, they cut <laughs> off Tien's hand. And put it on Put it on Chao Tzu. Tzu. <laughs> <laughs> just a big hand now. It's like he's wearing Hulk gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Chao Tzu is Chao Tzu in the I think he is with Tien right oh he's not, like, fighters? he's not he's not a no Chao Tzu is part of Tien's super move oh where he just flies on the back of the enemy <laughs> like and then to Sir Tien. explodes and then Tien goes like oh <laughs> every time <laughs> do they explain what, is Chao Tzu like a human or something I don't know or is he like a doll I don't know okay it's just one of these weird, weird things. I mean, that they're. Well- I mean, they have like, uh, like talking dogs. Animals. Yeah, so, yeah. So. I mean, I understand, like I, I know what those are because there's like so many of them. <laughs> but like Chatsu is like this weird thing. I'm like, what are you like a monkey? No, I'm just saying like their world is so weird that they don't have to explain it. Like weird stuff is just part of it. Oh, okay. All right. Did you, did you watch anything? Did you watch um? I watched uh, scary. Scary thing. Scary movie five. I don't know. Just like mosquito. Mosquito. Well, you know, see, we would ask him if he watched a scary thing, but he'd be like, "You know, it wasn't that scary, so I really, really call it a scary movie." <laughs> it's like, okay, dude, we, you know what we mean, though. No, I've is it designated this. as a horror film? <laughs> no, I just well, I watched Aquaman. Ew, that's pretty scary. Was that good? I liked it. Was, was it? it officially? It was nice. Okay. Did you say officially? Like, yeah, it was like fish officially. <laughs> Like, officially, it was not officially. Nice. <laughs> like, there's lots of fish in it, so yeah. How many fish were in it? Like, a lot. Too much to count, actually. How many uh, fish jokes did they make? Like How many fish two? jokes can you make? One or two. Like, they didn't go overboard because they knew their limit. Right? But, but, like, Jason Momoa in that movie was just, like, background. He'd say, like, yeah! And then, like, stuff would happen around him. <laughs> it's just him in the background. Yeah! Right? Or he's like, yeah, let's do this. And then stuff will happen around him. So like he would he didn't have much like acting time. It was more the people, it was more like the other characters. He just did cool shit from time to time. Okay. 
Did he ride a dolphin? He rode a shark. Okay. With lasers. <laughs> and then there was this, there's like this huge, wheel, like, the, like this kraken monster thing that he like has to tame, and he tames it. And it's voiced by Julie Andrews, which is weird. Julie Andrews? Yeah. Who the that? Sound of Music lady? Yeah, she was, oh. she, she's like this huge ancient Mary creature. Mary Poppins? Yes. What? Yeah, she voiced like this big monster who he later big friends and then she joins him. This sounds like Pokemon or something. Sure. You think they could get Julie Andrews to be Chikorita? Yeah, Chikorita. sure. Chikorita. No, no, Chikorita. Is it like Gen 2? Yeah. That's oh, like Pokemon? The, yeah. What else would it be? I don't know. <laughs> what? Yeah, well, what, what do you, you mean? Were, you, what do you, what do you mean what else would it be? Like, you, gave you, me, you gave me the name Chikorita. Yeah. It could be anything. <laughs> That's I, why would I automatically think Pokemon? <laughs> okay, when you heard Chikorita, what came to mind? I don't like know. Anime. Man? Anime. Well, yeah, it's but, not right. You're right. You're but like, it's anime, I guess. <laughs> Fine. Okay. If whatever. I said Cinder Quill, would that have been better? Oh, well, yeah. I know Cinder Quill. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which guy. I didn't the know toy, that. I know Cinder Quill. <laughs> what about Totodile? Totodile? Chimchar. What does it look like? What is <laughs> Chimchar? Don't be racist. <laughs> you say Chinese words. <laughs> is Chimchar real? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Grape ape. What? <laughs> Okay. Grape ape? <laughs> like like the fruit? <laughs> we just make a film reacts to Pokemon games. Why don't you know this? <laughs> Why would I know this? You play Pokemon! I played Pokemon Red and Blue. And then you played the new one. That's also red and blue. <laughs> no, but not, not even through like Osmosis. You didn't get these names like you from the no. show. No. I didn't watch the show when the, the they had those. I watched like you know <laughs> adult things <laughs> like Pokemon for adults I watched uh, just original Pokemon none of this like Pokemon Johto and whatever oh okay <laughs> well Lugia uh, that sounds familiar that might be in Smash Brothers me, 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 sure like as a trophy or something yeah uh, it's a trophy Wait, where isn't... <clears throat> yeah, Chikorita was also a trophy in Smash Brothers. Was it? Yeah, she was... Uh, you'd, you'd, you'd throw her out and she'd use her thing on... Everyone. What what type is it? Grass. Chikorita. Grass type? Smoke. Maybe I've seen it then. Yeah. It's got a leaf on its head. Yeah, okay. I know what you're talking about now. <laughs> See, there you go. He knows it. Yeah, but I didn't know the name of that thing. <laughs> See, now you know. For context. Next time we say the word Chikorita, you're going to be like... Uh, J- Jigorita? <laughs> yeah, getting Jigorita with it. <laughs> All right. Uh, What's new on Twitter, Jude? Nothing. Or Discord, whatever you're on. You're on our Discord. We're not even. We're here. Talk to us. No, I'm talking to people. Me and Derek aren't here. (laughs) Oh, so tell them what's going on in the podcast. (laughs) Just like you just know, just put the voice thing on. Is there a voice thing? Yeah. Yeah, you can talk on it. Okay, just, yeah, just uh, tell them. I don't think they are. I don't think they will. They'll yeah. be like, aha, no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, though. And I saw, I watched Incredibles 2 yesterday. Oh, cool. I have that on my Netflix Yeah, list. I, I watch it on Netflix. It, uh, don't I tell don't, me anything. I don't like it much as the first one. Okay. Is the mom hot? Because I remember that was the thing that Twitter was talking about. In this one? Yeah, how hot the mom is. She was, She looks exactly the same like the first one. Up, like she can stretch her booty and make it big or something. She could have done it in the first one. Or... Well, yeah, but I think well, Twitter wasn't around for that, so now. Oh wait, when did? Two thousand five? No. I think we we're still in high school when that was, like, the yeah. first Incredibles came out. I think we we're grade twelve, grade eleven. I don't know. Because Finding Nemo came out in two thousand five, four or two thousand five. Four? One of those. So 2004, 2005. Three? Two? Stop. Rangers in space? <laughs> Flying faster. And then da-da-da-da. Incredibles came way after that. I think. Let's rock it! I know we saw it in theaters. Me, yeah. you, Cameron. And then Cameron's sister was there too. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. I feel like that was after high school though. 
You think so? I think no, so. I think we were in. Uh, I think we were in Cabot. I mm-hmm. think that we were back in the. Oh, like yeah. t- I think technically we were supposed to be done, but then we went back for like the half year because mm-hmm. we dumb. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you all went back for a half year? Yeah, no, I did. just just me and Jude. Oh, Cameron didn't go. Yeah, Jeff was there. Yeah, Jeff Pimentel, not Dimadiero. It's Jeff Pimentel. Well, David Dio was there too. Oh, oh, was he? Yes. Remember we we chilled at him at lunch. Time? Oh yeah, and he wanted my like walkthrough for Final Fantasy X. I'm like, well, fuck yeah. you. I think Damien was there too for a bit. Yeah, Damien was there. He was there, right? Who else was there? That's it. <laughs> Everyone else was more was smart and they graduated. <laughs> yeah, we were just lazy. I was lazy and dumb. How how does count work? What? How does it was, what work? Seven count. plus twelve is two. Close. <laughs> well, wow, then I should get Mark. I mean, <laughs> in the grand scheme of all the numbers, that's pretty close. <laughs> well, you know, see, you know how they like how they give you like partial credit for like you know doing the equation and everything. Yeah. So there, I got like a bit of a mark for that. How, okay. When you get partial credit for showing your work, how accurate does the work need to be? <laughs> I don't know. Like, can you just write something? There? You're the teacher. You decide. <laughs> Use your. The, oh, the, I would probably give them like no marks. <laughs> it's just wrong. Yeah, it's just, it's flat out wrong. <laughs> hey man, in the real world, you're right or wrong. <laughs> That's all all dumb kids. Oh, and I saw like, the first three episodes of she It was okay. Like, I like the build up to when like, cause she like, she has to get the sword and then people are like, oh, yeah. Like a lot, like some of the characters, like oh, she she's part of the evil like, bad guy. She's not allowed to have it. And then her conflict with the good guys and the bad guys was kind of interesting. But then I feel like it goes SJW, so I start watching it after like three episodes. Yeah, who cares about Shira? Yeah, where where's where's? I feel like she was. I'm not sure if like Sailor Moon took influence off it, but I feel like it did. Because that that came in the '80s, right? Just like Sailor Moon came in the '80s. Did it? Yeah, I, we just got it later. Uh, like I mean, we I had know, early '90s, so. No, nah, because I think like He Man and Cheer was like 1983. I'm not sure when. Sailor I mean, Moon I mean, they made like the manga like long, long. The time. manga. The, the Ma- manga. manga. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, well, someone took influence from someone because the transfer whole the transformation sequence and the song they use is pretty. Well, you're yeah. talking about the new one. No, no, the old one. Oh. I'm pretty sure She-Ra came before Sailor Moon. Okay, so maybe... And that's why I feel like there's a lot of influence with the transformation and the singing. And well, you know, at the same time, um, <coughs> ideas can be like, created like, by, you know... But like, like it's like, like some kind of like weird um, coincidence that, that yeah. this person... I mean, yeah, You know, possible. like, a, what's it called? The Battle Royale thing with... Um... Hmm? Oh. What? What's that movie called? <laughs> Battle Royale? Chasing Hunger? <laughs> Chasing Amy? Hunger, Hunger Games? We gotta kill Amy! <laughs> Hunger Games? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you know, what? And Battle Royale. But like, weren't... weren't and, were, that people are saying, like, oh, you just copied Battle Royale, and then she's right. like, oh, i never seen it, so I don't know what you're and talking you about. And you believe her? Fuck that. Well, I don't know, I'm just saying... Like, I'm I don't saying, believe her. I'm saying that, like, people can create, like, the same idea, but, you know, doesn't mean that they ever saw each other... Well, 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 it's even possible that's even like like sub, like subconsciously like she heard about it but then you know like didn't really put thinking much like you know, she didn't thought, think much of it and then she's like what's a good book and then that thought of oh battle royale comes into her head i mean it's just, it's just like people killing people that's that's really it's what, what, what it they're comes different to. enough actually yeah it's just like <laughs> you know it's just that idea of like kids killing kids it, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah right yeah, but, I like, but, but i do like i don't know when they see like you know uh, Hunger Games and Battle Royale are close together. I'm like, not really. I mean, yeah, they're they're not really. They're, they're, they're like super different. It's just kids killing kids. Yeah, you're right. Like, oh, uh, there's that Stone Cold Steve Austin movie that was basically Battle Royale. Which no, one? I never said that. It was a bunch of instead of kids, it was a bunch of prisoners, and they were. Oh, I remember that. Movie. Yeah. Wasn't there a movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger like Running Man? Wasn't that the same concept? I don't know. Where like he's like in a game show and it's like prisoners killing prisoners. I don't want to watch that movie. I mean, you could be right. See, I'm yeah. just saying. Like, it's a oh. big. It's like. It's know. a big genre. Yeah. But the Hunger Games was really bad. I think we saw two movies and I was like, oh, it just keeps getting did worse. Did you see the first one? No. Saw, yeah, exactly. The first, no, I only saw the second one. The first one's the only decent one. Yeah, I saw the first one. It was, it was okay. Second one was really bad. Third one I gave up. I'm like, this is not getting better. I didn't like the any of the sequels. Yeah, it's fine. But you guys like the Maze Runner. 
Only the first one. Yeah. Oh, really? Again, it's the same thing. Like the first one's cool because yeah, the concept, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's like mystery. You've never seen anything like it before. Mm-hmm. Well, not in terms of Hunger Games, not really, but yeah. you know, like, it's, like, it's, it's, it's a sense of mystery with it's it. It's a little fresh. And then when they try to expand on it, mm-hmm. and like I guess in the case of like the Hunger Games and even Maze Runner, it it's not. <clears throat> it's like the concept they started with. They kind of move away from that. It st- it stops being the thing that they called it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No, oh, Hunger Games still, you know, it's still like still no, it's, it's about like rebelling against the society. Yeah. It just so happens in the second movie, it's like now it's time for the All Stars to take part. And yeah, um, Hunger Games three, there's nothing <coughs> like that. It's just fucking. They're attacking the ticket, like the capital, right? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, it had nothing to do with the Hunger Games anymore. Every time you say the Hunger Games, I keep thinking of the Asian guy. Well, yeah, I have yeah. a bag of Doritos. I will win the Hunger Games. What? You don't remember this? No. Yeah, you liked it on the Can Nothing page. That's how I found it. Because I looked at like previous likes and then... I have a bag of Doritos. Yeah. It's the guy who's saying, uh, like, the Legend of the Phoenix. <laughs> you don't remember him? You remember I remember him? that. I was trying to look for that video again. Oh, is it not up? I can't find it. I don't know what to call it. Uh, like, what... like, the Legend of the Phoenix. <laughs> like, the Legend of the Phoenix. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If anyone out there knows, please uh, email us or Twitter us or whatever. <laughs> Twitter us. Uh, it's Twitter the us. The Legend of the Phoenix video. It, what's related to that? Huh? It's the guy. It's the same guy. Oh, he made a video. Yeah. Like, okay. Man, wonder what happened to him. I don't know. One man shows that are that only get hundred views. I always old, wonder about old that. school YouTube star. Not man. even old <laughs> YouTube star. Okay. <laughs> See, back, that was back when there wasn't really YouTube stars. It was just like the random viral videos once in a while. That was it. Back when they were called fucking influencers. I hate that name so much. I'm an influencer. And I hate that, that the YouTubers have grasped <sighs> to that name. I hate... Um, because it sounds like such like a, like a corporate thing. thing. Of like, yeah. It's like when people started calling, like when magazines started calling people like gamers and stuff, it's like, that never happened organically, it's, it's just kind of like you labeled it's, it it's as It's like such. a really bad job title. Yeah. Like, in some places they try to give a fancy name to any minor job. Like how a janitor, like they don't call them janitors sometimes, it's it's like custodial maintenance person or something, <laughs> yeah. you know, like they try to make it sound more distinguished than it actually is. Yeah. And same thing with influencer or content creator. Like, you make videos. Yeah. I'm you're, a YouTuber. You, you just you make go. you make videos. That's it. You're a video maker. It's like, um... People who... Are part of the film industry, but they're not, like, directors and stuff. But they're like, I am a filmmaker. It's like, no, you make costumes yeah. for the films. You're, you're a not a filmmaker. Or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, I don't like content creator either. Because it's just like... It's this kind of weird generalization of what they do. Yeah. But in the end, you make videos. Because like, people who draw art are content creators. You make anything. Know, you're, you're making content. content. Like, you you write... You're a journalist for a website. You're a content creator. Yeah. Like, I don't understand why it's just people who are making videos for a living... Sorry, man. We never. We're too old. We we stuck. We stayed away from all that, yeah. and we traded popularity for integrity. <laughs> We're good. <clears throat> all right, you been playing anything? Kingdom Hearts. Oh yeah, that happened yeah you said you get it you said you get the big pack me yeah when did i say that remember when we were at we were watching e3 and then you're like are those games on ps4 i'm like yeah i think like you can get like the the, the one two pack oh I, yeah i remember i remember like i think when they announced kingdom hearts 3 for a very brief moment <laughs> yeah i was <laughs> i was interested and in I was, maybe I, playing the first two games i was your witness i was like, you i remember asking you i remember like driving you back to the subway or whatever yeah. i was asking you about like are, like where are those games available like are hd remasters and stuff like that i don't care anymore oh <laughs> why what well, it's taking your interest all the way down uh time <laughs> Yeah, I'll do that. You know, at that time, it, it had to be in my hand, like, instantly, and then I would have played it. <laughs> After that day, it's like, I don't care anymore. Yeah, you been playing it? It's good? No. 
No, not really. It's like 14 years too late. Yeah. Oh. But also, they went from a very simplistic story to something that's so convoluted. It's like, why bother telling the story? Just okay. Yeah. I mean, I enjoy like the gameplay, but I'm trying to follow the story. What What is the overall Kingdom Hearts story? What do you mean? Like, what What's this game about? Some guys trying to open some door, with, which has a lot of power in it, but he needs to fight other people. Where, where does Disney come into play? Oh, the, the the worlds aren't really there. They're just there for like. Like small story bits. Okay. No, but it's just like let's just like let's just say the universe is like fragmented, and the guy travels to different Disney worlds, basically. Yeah. Okay. Don't ask why. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say like why Disney no, worlds. No, don't. don't yeah, ask. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this there's, could there's, literally be anything. There's, yeah, there's no reason. Like, like the whole world pops up on your map. Let's go there. Okay, and you go there, and then there's some like the bad guys are there. You fight them, you solve the problem because the bad guys were causing on that world and just leave. And it's not even like all the worlds are Disney World. Some worlds are not Disney Worlds. So it's but like... My, my, most of them are. I, I'm just saying that well, like... Yeah, yeah. You know... It I'm over. Maybe you're further than me. I don't know. It doesn't It doesn't really... <laughs> Is the Disney thing like still a big draw for people? I know. I think so. I don't think so. I think whoever is getting into Kingdom Hearts now... Are just like the fans from back in like no, from two thousand two. I strongly disagree. I, yeah. strongly, I think there are a lot more people that. I think the thing is, people are very interested in the Disney worlds, but when mm. they w- w- go and play it, and they realize how little it plays into anything, yeah, they're like, "What the fuck was that?" Oh, I, I feel that when they, if they play the remaster, they're like, "Oh, they already got a taste of it." They like, oh, this this is not doing anything. I, I I feel they're they're we're in the wrong category, Kingdom Hearts fans. I think they're like those fans that. Are in love with that shit. No, I'm talking about the <coughs> like the new people. I know, but I'm saying that I think that they're just people that just want to see those worlds and oh. just you know. Yeah. It's it's Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> yeah, that was like the worst one for me. I what the Buzz Lightyear world? Like yeah, the, the, the toy that was the worst, and the reasoning for it is so dumb. Um, I'm like, you guys are so lazy. There is some person on yeah. Twitter who was like, the Toy Story world was the most funniest world I've been to. I'm like, what funny things yeah. happen in the Toy yeah, Story what, world? What, what are you guys hiding about? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was the part where, where Woody was running on the record and he just kept running. And that was funny. I don't know. I Again, don't know. Buzz Lightyear's like bipolar disorder. Mm. Buzz Lightyear's bipolar. Really? Yeah. You gotta include all types of people. So. Yeah, man. To make... To infinity and beyond. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh. so there you go. They should have used that. That should have been like the whole sums up the whole point of that story arc. Mm-hmm. It's like, everyone's different. Even... Okay. Yeah. Great. Although I feel like... Like, the first game, it's like... There was a reason to travel to different worlds. Yeah, they had a really good reason. Really? It was really simply re- a simple reason. You go here, and just... That's it. Second one, <coughs> even less so. And this game, even less so. <coughs> I played some Fortnite with my cousin. Ew. <laughs> Do you not dance? No, like that. Put it on what? Uh, uh, PS4. Oh. Uh, is that is that a cross compatible now? Do you know? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. But what they did they like they added a mode now where it's pretty much just a regular, like a regular shooting game now, like a Call of Duty, where if you die you just respawn. But it's fun though, cause like it's just it's like a big map and you're, everyone has like rocket launchers shooting at each other, and if you die, it's not, you don't have to go in the fucking lobby. Just can you still build? Yeah. Oh, okay. Still build, yeah. It's fun. Have That's... you been in a uh, save the world mode? No. I think my cousin only has the free one. Oh, uh, those fucks. Yeah. I know. Those fucks. I told no, I told them that. Um, wait till the free mode comes out. It's probably more fun. He's like, okay, I'll wait because it's it's they said they're going to make it free, right? Supposedly? They, they said that like two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. The game came out, let's say twenty sixteen <coughs> October. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They said. By January, we're going to have this to be free to play. The oh, really? Save the world mode. Oh, I thought there were some of them. No, they... Nope. Phil, I still have a free promo code if you want to use it. For what? For a Save the World Fortnite. No. Oh, yeah. No, you should play it. It's fun. No. Yeah, the three of us can play it. No, I don't want to play Fortnite. Why? Uh, I just don't. It doesn't look good. You just don't. You can't... You know, you have these moments where you're like, no, 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 and then this most weird, obscure anime comes up, and you're like, no, nah, yeah, no, I want to watch anime. <laughs> and then you're like, what? You keep saying no to these things. What the fuck, Phil? <laughs> and there's gonna now there's going to be like a weird, obscure Street Fighter Battle Royale, and you'll be like, yeah, you know, I played some uh, 
Call of Duty? And, you no, know, no, I'm like, totally into Battle Royale <laughs> games. Like, what? <laughs> but by the time me and me and you get home and we're like, okay, we're going to Call of Duty playing Phil, Phil's going to be like, no, I'm done. I, I had my Phil. It's like, what? <laughs> Phil, you get... Uh, whatever. <laughs> it's life, man. Deal with it. Are there any books? Com- did, uh, the no, new, what? The new, books? Are you any comic books? The new what? No. Phantasma, what's it called? Origin? What? Uh... That really popular comic book that all the hipsters like. The one that you watch, that you have. What? About Watchmen? No, not Watchmen. The new newest one. Pilgrims? No, that's Pilgrim. not it. It's like a one word thing. I think I know what you're talking about. Is it like the weird fantasy one? Yeah, the weird fantasy. Space. Right. Space fantasy. Saga? There you go. Saga. The, the Pilgrims. New... I don't know. Hey, man. Yeah, close enough, man. Pilgrim. It's a one word thing. <laughs> no, I, I told you. I only read the, the collected hardcover. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't come out with a new one. As far as I know, no. Uh, it's like every couple of years, maybe. I heard they went on like a two-year hiatus or something. Oh, good for them. I honestly don't care about anything that's going on in comic books anymore. Really? Uh, I used to... You stopped seeing <clears throat> I used to like follow that stuff. Like go on website? It, it felt like... Like it mattered in some way, you know? Like... It's still real to me, like, Danny. <laughs> you know, like it mattered so much that... That Wolverine was dead and then coming back to life or something and I had to know all the details of how it happened I had to like find out people's reactions and it was like really interesting and now if I hear that I'm just like it's a fictional character who dies and comes back sometimes <laughs> who cares <laughs> like I still like I still like these characters I like those worlds I can't care about uh, <clears throat> the current events I guess <laughs> cause it's not real you're so jaded I, I like some of the classic stories. I still <coughs> like reading, you know, when Gwen Stacy dies. That's fine. But I'm not like sad because she's not real. <laughs> you don't put uh, you don't put on Twitter your like uh, gif of you crying or something when you when you read that Gwen Stacy no. died. You know, like I know when if they kill off Captain America in the Avengers movie, people will be sad. No, they won't. Oh yeah, people will be sad. They're gonna salute. Be, yeah, there's gonna be like God damn it. people are gonna be like, this should be like a national holiday or something. You know, like people are it's really gonna be into it. Stupid. As if it matters, but he's yeah. it's a movie. Yeah. Who cares? Exactly, it's a movie. Who, Who cares? cares? He's not real. Yeah, it's just for entertainment. Yeah, it's not like he's like literally saving the world from some purple guy with a glove. Like it's fine. It's I think it's fine to feel sad when it happens in the movie because it's like. You know, it's they're, part te- of it's they're telling a story. story exactly, yeah. You should care about what's happening in the story. Yeah, if you're engaged. Beyond that, like once the movie's over, I'm just like, yeah, the, the fantasy is. That's over. it, man. The fantasy like, is over, guys. They resolve this. Also, and, it's, uh, it's not real. Yeah, it's not real, guys. Yeah, it's like you don't salute your book when you read a book. You know. <laughs> well, how many patriotic books do you read, Jude? I read The Patriot with Mel Gibson. Oh, that was a book. I don't know. I'm just kidding. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Yeah, Audio like, books with Mel Gibson. Like it reminds you, like you know, when like in the first when I know we'll watch the first Avengers. I mean, yeah, Endgame. No, it's whatever. Yeah, that was the first one. Endgame. Yeah, Endgame. Yeah, and they go backwards <laughs> in like... time. <laughs> no, and was it Infinity War or whatever? That wasn't the first one. Okay, the, the last in Avengers movie I saw. Endgame is the last Avengers movie. <laughs> God damn. It. Anyway, if someone Captain America shows up, everyone starts clapping in the theater. I'm like, stop. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I've seen this guy in like four movies already. Exactly. No one clapped before. Or like when and Thor comes with his hammer, it was like, yeah, Thor. Yeah. It's it's like, did you not expect them to not be to in show this up. movie? <laughs> if it was a legitimate surprise, yeah, then I can understand that. But even but the, it's like you know this guy's in the movie. You see it in the trailers, like the part where he comes out of the shadows. Yeah, that's in the trailer. That's in the first trailer. Oh, was it? I yeah. wonder if there's a um, reaction thing to when Yoda showed up in Star Wars. Which one? Oh, in like Three? Eps- Oh, in the newest yeah, one. Yeah, in the newest one. Oh, if there are oh. people going like, "Yeah, Yoda!" <laughs> I wouldn't no. be surprised. Our theater was like dead silent. It I, was like you and me giggling. Yeah, we're just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that like when that happened, I thought it was so dumb. But then, in all the reviews I read, like everyone kind of like generally hated the movie, but the, everyone seemed to like the Yoda part. Really? Like, oh, it was so great to see him back, and oh, he was a puppet again. It was amazing. Yeah, who cares? Like, he put a tree, he lit a tree on fire. Yeah, did he? He brought down force lightning or whatever and destroyed the old Jedi tree oh, that had the old Jedi books in it. This came out 
Like, where did all that come from? Yeah, where, did the, where were the books before this? Why didn't Yoda use the books to teach Luke? Exactly. Or why didn't Luke talk why, about the Why books? are they hiding in a tree in some is, is, planet? Is, it, is that a somewhere? sacred tree? And then, it's a Force-sensitive tree. <laughs> and then Rey steals one. No, she, so she, she steals just, all of them. She, okay, she steals all of them. Yeah. <laughs> that movie sucks, Phil. I know. I know. I, you know what I thought? I thought the movie was so bad that they would extend episode 9 to part 1 and 2 just to retcon everything. What if they just called the new Star Wars episode 8? <laughs> <laughs> it should be Star Wars episode 9, episode 8. <laughs> The retconning. <laughs> yeah. I'd watch that. Yeah. That'd so, be really cool. So what would you do? Would you just start from the end of episode nine? Yes. Eight? From epi- the seven? end of seven. Seven, seven. yeah. So none she, of that happens. She's, she's back with Luke. Yeah. She hands him the lightsaber and he's like, sick. Yeah. And he looks at the Thanks. camera. <laughs> he's like, this is what you wanted. Yeah, right? what you want, fucker. <laughs> and he starts fighting her. He's like, training begins now. Yeah. And, and they play Duel of the Fates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, like, it's they're just fighting on the mountain for, like, three hours. Yeah. It's like, wow. And then Snoke is, like, still, he's, like, he's an actual 50-foot guy. Yeah, that'd be amazing. He, 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 he's, like, a giant. They walk into his palace, yeah. and there's just, like, a giant door there. Like, what is that? And yeah. then Snoke walks out. In, yeah, he's like, what? You think that was a real thing? Yeah, it's real, man. And then. And then what? Mm. And then they never go to that, and then they don't, like, the, the porgs don't exist. Oh, yeah, that fucking casino thing. <clears throat> yeah, they casino don't go to the casino. The Asian lady probably doesn't exist. Yeah, what's her name in that movie? Rose. 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 Uh, that purple the, hair lady doesn't exist? That, that stuttering guy doesn't exist. Uh, yeah. but, what's her name? Benicio Del Toro? Mm-hmm. He doesn't exist in real life? Or? No, yeah. Oh, wow. They, Sicario never happened to you. <laughs> Sicario never happened. I never watched Sicario. I don't care. Uh, it's good. You should watch it. I don't want to watch it. You know what's weird? Ever since I watched um, that Star Wars movie... And then I like I looked up reviews. YouTube keeps recommending me Sicario clips. What? Yeah, I don't know why. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause like I watched uh, Kingdom Hearts like opening thing, and then they just all the spoilers to Kingdom Hearts are trying to appear in my list. <laughs> Ending. Uh, here's what happens in the secret movie. Like, oh god damn it! Stop it, YouTube. Learn how to filter your shit better. They know, man. They know, man. My friend was. Uh, uh, we go to play board games once in a while. Okay. And could we... do. Do you go to a board game cafe? Yeah. Did you go to GG? Yeah. Oh, you went there? I've been there lots of times, yeah. I've been there once. I never see you there. Okay. <laughs> I never see you there. <laughs> I went there once. once. <laughs> I haven't actually seen you there. No, but we played this one board game called Suburbia. Mm-hmm. And then suddenly he's like, he's like, oh, in his Instagram, he got an ad for Suburbia. What? How's that possible? <laughs> it's possible. I don't know. It just happens. They're listening. Yeah, they are. Oh, no. Should they, they tell get... you about the Charlotte's Web thing? <laughs> me, and Ju- me and Phil were in his car talking about Charlotte's Web yeah. and all of a sudden at home I get a recommendation for like Charlotte's Web's ending no way yeah <laughs> oh no like so wait is it so you think they're looking at your li- they're like legit listening to your like conversation or like looking at your text <clears throat> I don't know I wasn't even no we were just we talking we were talking face to face oh no in his car it was just like what the fuck so Amazon has like secretly built in it's like I want to uninstall my Amazon app now <laughs> fuck this yeah man you gotta turn off Wi Fi, you gotta cancel your plan. <laughs> it's too late, man. They already know you. Ah. Like, the, you, you could try it out, but that's it. Like, that's game it. Over. It's yeah. over. You can't. You've been profiled, Jude. Yeah. Hey, he sure likes a lot of uh, video games. Yeah. And Fortnite. He likes Bubble Tea a lot? I don't get it. I don't get it. We see some Bubble Tea. How do we monetize this? Yeah, I, I said Bubble Tea. Let's see if I get any Bubble Tea commercial, <laughs> like Bubble Tea ads. Maybe they'll just deliver bubble tea to you. Who? I don't know. Skip the dishes does, yeah? Yeah, someone's just gonna show up. Like, for free? Yeah. Nice. Promotional. Promotional. Yeah, it's an, it's an ad. It's already been paid for. <laughs> oh, that's true, yeah. <coughs> uh, yeah, that's it. Not that? Do you play any games, Phil? Um, I played an old, um, <clears throat> on my CRT. Uh, do you know the game Radical Dreamers? It was like the sequel to Chrono Trigger before Chrono Cross. What? What? On it was, what? It was on the Super Nintendo, but it was just, it's a, a text adventure what? that was just, um, so in Japan, the Super Famicom had this like online service where they could just download games. Okay. And so this is one of the downloadable things that you could get from that. And uh, yeah, it's just like a weird kind of semi sequel to it. Is it like fan translated or actually? It was fan translated. Yeah, uh, it was yeah, only yeah. it was only in Japan. Uh, so it was the guy it was one of the writers 
of Chrono Trigger. And he's the guy who actually directed Chrono Cross, but he kind of felt like there was some loose ends with the story with some characters. So mm-hmm. he wrote this Radical Dreamers thing and kind of tied some of that up. Oh. As, and basically that's what Chrono Cross became, but like expanded on. So what does it take place after? It's like way after Chrono Trigger. Oh, okay. Also, you're, but it's based... Are you still the same guy from Chrono Cross? Or yes and no. It, it's... Yeah, Chrono Cross still has, like... Or Radical Dreamer still has Surge and Kid. Uh, and Lynx is there. <coughs> oh, what but he's heck? a bit different. Yeah, it's interesting. Huh. It's it's more to do with... Uh, do you remember the character Shala? <laughs> hey, anyway. is, he, is he the Magus of... Uh, the... No, Magus is in this game. What? As, as Magil. Did he evolve? No, he's just, like... He's... Sort of disguising himself. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, so what loose ends are they tying up? Well, it has to do yeah, with... Yeah, I don't remember anything about Chrono Trigger. Uh, it's, it, there's a lot to kind of explain, but it's it has to mostly do with Shala. Because, uh, like... So, you know Lavos? He yeah. crash lands on yeah, Earth at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The main, the main villain! Yeah. The bad guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Magus. Oh, God damn it. Chrono hey. dies, did you know that? But then, you, yeah. but then you bring him back. <laughs> You can go to the can, can you okay? No, sorry, this is like can you, when Chrono dies. Can you go and fight Lavos immediately? Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, okay, you can keep him dead as far as I know. Oh yeah, I think and so. And just Magus is the the dude. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think he, I think that's one of the options you can have to get like an an alternate ending. Uh I'm not sure because I always like I liked Chrono. Yeah. And he was my strongest guy, so I always had him. I always brought him back to life. Um. So I'm not sure. Okay, I know then... Chrono, I think Chrono and Magus for sure you can choose whether or not you want him in your, in your party. Oh. But I, again, I like Magus, so I was kept him too. Yeah. Darth Magus. Darth Magus? Wait, was that, that wasn't that it thing? Was what? Was Miguel? Wait, your, your, your handle. Like Darth Magus at Hotmail? Oh, no. It was, uh... Are you sure it wasn't Darth Magus? No, it was Magus the 23rd. Oh, okay. With the Roman numerals. Because I thought Archie. Red 23 was cool from FF7, <laughs> so I took the 23. Wasn't it Red 12 or something? I thought it was 23. Wasn't it Red 13? Oh, 13. I don't know why I did 23 then. That's uh, okay. <laughs> it is fanfic, Red 23. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like his son or yeah. something. You know, at the, at sure. the post-credits, it's like one of them is Red 23. Yeah, exactly. Take a guess. <laughs> or maybe I just thought like it was cool to have a Roman numeral at the end because Red 13 had it. Yeah, yeah. Like Kingdom Hearts had it. And Final Fantasy... Does it with all their? Games. No, that's true. How long is that game? Uh, you long? can get through it in like two and a half to three hours. Is it I think. a visual novel? Yes. No. Really? Yeah. I used, I thought you it's said just it. like most of the screens is just a picture and then a bunch text. of text you got to read. And then you answer a question. And then yeah, then it's like you're in this castle, and then it tells you, okay, you you come to a path. On the right is a, is a stairwell. On the left is a door. Up ahead oh, is a tunnel. That's so Which weird. way do you want to go? And uh, you choose one. And it's just as your way. It's your way to get around, basically. It's, it's not like making a choice changes the game. Oh, it's, okay. It's okay. just how you get around. Oh, okay. And then there's also random battles, too, which are really annoying <laughs> because they s- describe everything that's happening. It's like... Oh, but you don't see it? You see the picture of the bad guy, and that's it. It's just like, a goblin showed up. He's green and scaly. He's attacking you with his sword. What do you do? And it's like, jump out of the way. You jump out of the way. His spear s- just touches you. You're bleeding a little bit. Oh, it's shit. Like, no wonder you like... It's like, uh, like, She's into, like, D&D stuff now. This no, takes no. so long. No, I don't like this. <laughs> this took so long to get through. I hated the random battles. But, yeah, the pictures look nice. Well, how is the text? Is this, like, crappy SNES font? Or is it... Could you read it? It's readable. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's just a lot. It's... Does it solve all your questions? No, I mean, I didn't, never had questions about that. It's, so, I don't know. The, does Chrono finally talk? No, Chrono's not in this. Oh, he's not? No. He's oh, this is the, oh, yeah, this is the far away thing. Yeah. Luca, they mentioned Luca, but that's because she was killed. So, what yeah, about Maribel? No. Yo- Yoshitsune? Sure. The frog guy? Frog. Oh, is that his name? Yeah. Frog oh, guy. his sword is named... The, the Masamune. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, they kind of reference some of that stuff, uh, but it's it does it's not important. Yeah, okay. it's cool, honestly. It's kind of 
interesting if you like collecting Chrono Trigger stuff. Otherwise, so does it make you want to play Chrono Cross again? A little bit, but then I watched a video about like the Chrono Cross timeline, and it seemed really convoluted. So I was like, no, nah, I don't think I need Remember that. Remember we did a Let's Play of uh, Chrono, Chrono Cross, Cross and I yeah. asleep? And I <laughs> went through like the first 15 minutes of the game and just stopped. <laughs> I think I remember I had to chase something and catch it. Oh, and yeah. And I couldn't do it, so I just stopped playing. <laughs> Good times. Good times. I like giving up easily in games. That's the part, best part about video games. Just giving up, yeah. yeah. Like life. You just, you just... Whatever, if you're not happy, you just go, yeah, fuck it, whatever. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, Is it on the Switch, the uh, Chrono Trigger? In the package no. deal? No. Oh. Uh, yeah. I bought a copy of Chrono Trigger for Super Nintendo. Oh, really? Like a full, do, do, full one. Do, 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 That's do, Chrono do, Cross. What's what's the song from Chrono Trigger? Do, 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 well, you don't recognize it or it's not good? I can't recognize it. Okay. Well, I, probably, I probably would recognize the festival music. I think that's the only one that I would recognize. Okay. But I don't know. Alright, cool. That's it. Would you ever get the um, the PlayStation version that has like the anime cutscenes or whatever? Uh, I do have it. Oh, you do have it? I have... Did you ever look up like what is the definite version of Chrono Trigger to play? Honestly, I would <clears throat> probably say the DS one. Oh yeah, probably right. Why? The DS one has has the anime cutscenes, which without the load times. Oh okay. Um, and some of those cutscenes actually do tie into what they started to do in Chrono Cross. So there's more of a connection between the two games. No, like they add more stuff. Well, because when Chrono Cross came out, yeah. Um, I think the connection to Chrono Trigger wasn't that strong, so they put there's a couple things in the new cutscenes oh, okay. that tied into it. That if you never played Chrono Cross, they wouldn't make any sense. Uh, and the DS version also has an updated translation that's apparently more accurate. Yeah, but yeah. Like, do you remember the way Frog talked? Like he was like an old knight and stuff. Apparently, he doesn't talk that way in the Japanese game. Good. Like, he talks normally. Good. So that's what they did in the DS version. Good. I hate when they do that. They in a uh, what's that what's that game that RPG that came out on Switch? Which one? The the Xenoblade. No, not Xenoblade. The other one that looks like Last Story. Octopath. Octopath. Oh. One of the people there, like the like the like the elves or something, they talk like Shakespearean. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's really annoying. It is because yeah. it's like you're the only people that speak Shakespearean. Yeah. Everyone yeah. else speaks normal, and it's just like just don't do that. Yeah, see if you get flavor, you gotta give flavor to Fuck that man. Hey man, even in Lord of the Rings, the elves kind of just talk like everybody else. Mm -hmm. So and that and and Lord of the Rings is like the the definition. That's that's the that's the Bible you follow for elves, right? Yeah. Otherwise, J.R. Tolkien's like, what the fuck, guys? <laughs> Don't fuck with my shit. Yeah, yeah that, that should be his uh, <laughs> last own, book. Don't he fuck owns with elves. My shit. Yeah. He owns elves and orcs. Did anyone finish Octopath? Never even played Octopath. Oh. Honestly, I got up that elf part and I was like. <laughs> I can't. Can't take it. I, I really couldn't. Do they have voice acting in the game? Yes. Sometimes, yes. right? Yes. Oh. Typical Nintendo. You're going to buy, like, Octopath 2? I don't know. No? Maybe. That, that was a Square Enix thing, right? Yes. Like the same guys who made I Am Satsuna? No, this is the Bravely Default guys. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And you can tell because it's all fucked up. I don't like the combat system. Oh, they do this thing where it's like you, you like cash in your turns. So it's like the more you defend, the more like turns you have to like cash in. Yeah, yeah, more damage. Saying, yeah. So then you're just waiting five turns to cash in, and then you do the damage do and you kill the guy. So it's like, <laughs> like you do bigger damage. Yeah, so you just hold defend for like fucking forever, and then oh. it's like, all right, now to do my damage. Hmm. Can you cash in for the next battle, or is it only for that one battle? I think it's only for that one battle. Oh, cause yeah, so just play defense and then just go all out. Yeah. It's like they're trying to do like a persona thing of like, you know, you get an extra turn for like doing the invulnerability, but it doesn't really. It didn't work. Yeah, I didn't like it. Cool, cool beans, man. 
Is, are you sure Animal Cross is that a game we're all gonna get? Animal Crossing. What? No. When did I say I'm gonna get Animal well, Crossing? Get Animal Crossing. I don't Why care not? about Animal Crossing. Why don't you want to go into town with your friends? No. I'm trying to think of a game that like we would play with Phil, but now that he's like turning down all these things, I don't think there is a game we would play with Phil, unless it's like a fighting game. But that's only like two players. Dragon Ball Online. Hmm. <laughs> Naruto Online. Naruto. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not like. I'm not big into a lot of, like, big multiplayer games. Unless it's local. Hmm. Well, we try, Phil. Yeah. It, you're the problem. Yeah, yeah no, I, don't, I don't care about any of those games you guys play. I don't care about friends. <laughs> I have Chrono. Yeah. What? Was that his name? Yeah. Like, Canon? Yeah. Okay. But without the H. Okay. So maybe it's Chrono. Like the game's chronic, called Chrono Trigger? Like but chronic. Because Chrono Trigger has the H in it, so it is Chrono. Do they, does that have anything to do with the, the game? Or is it just like a Final Fantasy thing? What? Chrono oh, no. The, the Chrono Trigger is what brings them back to life. Oh. It's the time egg. Oh. I thought it was just the egg. I didn't know how <laughs> It is the Chrono Trigger. Oh. Is that what they're fighting for? No. Oh. It's just something... See, the, that's why it's so weird, because, like, it's just an item you need at one point in the game. <laughs> and the but game's... They, it's called Chrono Trigger in Japan, too. Yeah. Oh. I thought it was, like, one of these, like, we're looking for a cool thing to call it in English. Oh, yeah, yeah. And apparently Chrono Cross is also an item in the game. What? But, like, the game isn't about that item. See, Square's trying to copy, like, the Nintendo thing of, like, Metroid. Oh, I see. Whatever, but then it's like, that's not, a, that thing doesn't really have a big importance. Yeah. Oh, well. You tried. Is, uh, is Metal Gear about, about Metal Gear? Yes, actually, it is pretty much, it, there's always a Metal Gear. Okay. It's usually, like... But it, it's not always, I mean, it is solid. It is. <laughs> it's very solid. So it's not, like, gaseous liquid, yeah. so it should be fine. <laughs> But again, yes. I think I feel like Metal Gear is like it's always, like the actual Metal Gear itself is always used as a backdrop for something else for some other bullshit. Yeah, but they but they always say like they're using Metal Gear to do X mm -hmm. in the game. But I feel like Metal Gear doesn't become the like the threat anymore. It's, no, it's it's there. Like yeah. they have one, but that's not the main issue now. It's like this guy's gonna go to the White House and mm -hmm. blow it up. What is the Halo in Halo? It's the actual halo itself. What? That's where the flood comes from. The yeah. flood? Yeah. And the Ark of the Covenant. Oh. Wait. What? Oh. That's Indiana Jones. Oh. Wait, he's not saying yeah. That's what Indiana what Jones. is what is the the Kingdom <laughs> Hearts? In Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, that, that's the literal thing they're they're after. It's a door to whatever. It's a it's Kingdom a of Hearts. I don't even know what it is. It's, it's just a thing. It's, it's a, a thing, thing. It's a that, thing that he does to get stuff. Yeah, he's, they don't even they explain keep changing what, it is. what the yeah, they keep retconning is. it. And not even that. They one guy believes it's one thing, another yeah. guy believes it's another, another thing. <laughs> and then, then when they get to it, it's not the thing they each hope for. Yeah. So you're wondering who's right? Is he right or is he right? I don't understand. It's a battle of ideals, Phil. Yeah. What is the Assassin's Creed? That's just killing everyone without people seeing you. Yeah. That's that's the creed. That's a creed. Um, Kill Templars, make sure they don't see no, you. Nothing is real. Everything, everything is, is real. yeah, yeah. What? But then you know, they even don't they even don't go yeah, no. that deep in because <laughs> you get game over when yeah, you kill people. <laughs> <laughs> what is the what? Super Mario Brothers? <laughs> <laughs> Who are the Mario Brothers in Super Mario Brothers? It's Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. <laughs> What is what are the gears of war? Yeah, they don't like to really explain that. Isn't that the cogs? No, they're just called cogs. Like they're not, there's nothing. Gears but they have on. a symbol on it, right? Yeah, but that's nothing to do with it, the actual gears. But of war. you know, it's it's the it's the you it's know the metaphor. continuous or, wheels. Yeah, and... it's like the things that keep war going. Yeah, yeah, man, fucking just war, the, man. The fight keeps happening, yeah. keeps going on and on. Yeah, man, it's never ending. Yeah. Yeah. That's that oil and thus money. keep turning yeah. the gears of war. Oh, that oil. Every place a little to magic or whatever the fuck it's the Mad World song. I don't oh, know what okay. it's called. Uh, yeah, Mad World. It's called Mad World. 
I know, but I'm trying to like, sing that stupid song. Oh, okay. What is the the rock? Well, little, he's a wrestler. What is the little big planet? Is it a big planet that's little? Yeah. Or is it a little planet that's big? It's a little planet that's big. Like the planet is little, but what you do can do what you can do inside of it is big. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you have so many <coughs> opportunities to do things. I see. You see that dream stuff? Mm, I feel. I don't know, man. I don't know what the fuck that's about. That's weird. Someone made this, some movie in there. It was like Back to the Future or Jurassic Park or something? Really? Someone made something wow. in there, and I was like, okay, that's cool. I guess I don't know. But then again, it's it's like this isn't an evolution of um, yeah, the big planet. But it sounds so different from what they originally pitched. I don't know what is it now. Remember, well, no, remember before they're like, if you have a painting, you can use the switch and make the the control, and then you have this painting, and then another person can come to your world and take the painting and do whatever they want. What happened? I don't know. Yeah, kind of spaced out. They never made it clear it was a video game maker. Oh yeah, they didn't. Yeah, I don't know. That thing was just weird. Yeah, it's weird. I bet you Phil's gonna buy it because it's so obscure. Yeah, Phil, yeah. Phil's like the hipster of the. He kind of is. He is you know? He's watching old anime. About? Watching old anime. He, he just that doesn't make to me a hipster. instead of Crunchyroll. He, he yeah. like because like, Crunchyroll didn't have yeah. what I wanted. <laughs> he likes Saint Anger. Yeah, I mean, he does. I, what? <laughs> you bought that Lies. Metallica album. Yeah. Lies. Like he doesn't like anything like any games we find popular. He doesn't <laughs> like he doesn't like the popular. Yeah, stuff. I don't like anything mainstream, man. See? That, that's so hipster, man. Yeah, I still have my NES hooked up. So you bought a CRT? Like, what is I know. This? I didn't buy it. <laughs> you know, I made it known you know, to people that I, I was just... looking for one, and someone said, I have one, you can have it. I'm going to buy him like a fanny pack and like those like, <laughs> and like, you know, those hats, those, you know, like, like those hats like this. <laughs> you should just introduce this to your friend at work. And then I should. I think they'll get along great. Yeah, probably. No, man. I don't want to be that. Well, you're already there. Can you change me? No, you're changing yourself, man. We're, we're trying to bring you to the other yeah, side. Yeah, change me back. <laughs> we try, but you're like, no, why do I want buy, to buy Kingdom Hearts? Buy Animal Crossing and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> oh, man, on the Switch? Well, where else would it be? 3DS? No, that thing's dead. Is it? They keep putting out games. Not that I know. I mean, they're putting still putting games out on Vita. <coughs> that doesn't mean that thing's being... Oh, like, wow. Okay. PlayStation Vita, not, not regular Vita. Yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> What's a regular Vita? You know, Vita. <laughs> I know, the Vita. Don't go... You go to the store, can you get a Vita? They're like, okay. I know, you're talking about the uh, the mixing thing. Yeah. The Vita. Uh, what's it called? The thing you make smoothies with? What are those called? Blenders? Magic Bullet? Yeah. There's one called Vita. Yeah, and there you go. Oh. we have Vitas. Yeah, see? Yeah, so don't go asking for that. Yeah, you don't put Animal Crossing inside of that Vita. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get Animal Crushing. <laughs> anyway. All right. We done? Uh, d- no, you're not done with the pig. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Hey, there's still ice cream, man. Oh, man. I mean, are we done podcasting? Oh, I don't know. It's up uh, to you. When's, when's the big game? It started already. Oh, the big game. <laughs> I think it, the pre-show's at 7. Guys, guys, what are you predicting for the big game? Uh, I predict that. <laughs> Yo. Why do you sound like an idiot? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> what? Who's going to win, Phil? The the uh, the touchdowns are going to win. <laughs> the Toronto touchdowns. <laughs> That's a good name. <laughs> and the Florida field goals. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you, you show them what they do. <laughs> what are you guys good at? <laughs> what do you think? <sighs> what do you recommend? Florida touchdowns or Toronto <laughs> touchdowns? I recommend, um, I recommend these biscuit... Ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> These are really good. There's the camera. There you go. These are really good. Oh, I, had, sponsor? I had two of them. Is there still one in there? No, no these ones fine. are empty. No, there's, there's one in there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, because we had one, one, he had two. Okay. I want to thank Chips Ahoy <laughs> for allowing us to buy these from the store, for making these available for all to enjoy. Mm. Thank you. We should have got a cream Thank you. God bless. Oh, I sure am. Yeah. Oh, the store's probably closed now, actually. I know. I'm going to say you know. Oh, it's a little bit. It's seven. No, but they're close it's to the big Sunday, game. It's Sunday, man. You know, every- <laughs> oh, they're all going for the big game. Yeah. Big, go- game big game, big game, big game. Is there a bar in that <clears throat> thing? Isn't the Desi bar? <laughs> yeah. Is it yeah. a bar? Like it's a, a bar. bar. It's a bar. Oh, so they probably all like went to that, yeah. club, that place. Yeah, all the finish. Indians go to watch football. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> this isn't football. What do you recommend? 
I got this. So uh, almost six months ago, mm-hmm. I backed this comic book thing. It's Is called it Skies of Fire. Oh. No, it's not Saga. Oh. Um, and it comes like in a hardcover, probably like the Saga thing. Yeah. Right. I forgot about it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the mail shows up. I was like, oh shit, what the fuck is this? And like, oh, it's that thing that I backed like a long time ago. And then I, I tried reading it. But then I, re- I remember that I like my place super dark so I don't turn on the lights. So like I had to like turn on the lights to like fucking read this thing. I'm like, fuck this. I don't want to read this. I wish I was on a tablet. And then I turn off the light and stop reading it. What's it about? Like, what, what was the reason to support it? I like the art. Um, What's the art like? Anime? No. Huh. Pro- it's probably like Saga. I don't know. I don't know what's Saga. I don't know. Uh, it's, um, it's like typical in- comic book art. Indie art, yeah. comic book. I don't know. Is it like typical comic book stuff? Like the like the design and everything? Maybe. Well, if, if, it's, if it's not Sally's anime, you know whatever. It's in full. It's not. Down. It's not anime. Oh, for okay. sure. It's not anime. It's about like sky pirates and stuff. Like Skies of Arcadia? No, it's. Oh. There's like blimps. Everyone Whoa. has blimps. Okay. And they have like guns attached to them and stuff. Okay. Modern warfare. Cool. Modern warfare. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'll recommend it, but uh, but I recommend uh, digital products. Do not get physical copies of anything because if you want to play super dark, then you can't you can't really read anything in, in the dark. But, oh, you mean like uh, like like novels and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I find light to be annoying. <laughs> I don't want to sound like I'm a super dark person because, you know, I'm playing Kingdom Hearts now, but... Yeah, yeah you're, you're like, where does the heart really connect? <laughs> yeah, but I like it when it's dark and I can turn on my tablet and just be able to does read. Does your eyes get, like, hot? Like, don't they get hurt from, like, all the, like, strain and stuff? Does that, is that how... Yeah, that's how it works. Like, you need, you need to have more than one light source, otherwise your eyes get, um, whatever. Well, sometimes I go to the washroom, so I turn on the bathroom light. That's more than one light source, right? No. <laughs> Because like I know, like I did that. I did that. Like when I was saying, like, like right after we, like we graduated, I just f- spent six months playing Ragnarok online, and like in a dark room, and then my eyes got pretty bad. But you still don't. You still don't wear glasses. Yeah, I mean, bad from where it was. He doesn't drive, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, the bus drives me. I don't drive. So take off your glasses. Who cares? Yeah, you don't need them. But like, sometimes I get a headache when I don't have my glasses on. Really? Yeah. Oh. But that's probably because the, the, the glasses feed me drugs of good vision, so that when I when I have bad vision, they're like, nah, man, you need that good vision. That it's good like, yeah, good. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're like, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dude, what do you recommend? I don't know. Uh, Fine. Wow. Ragnarok for the, for the phone. What? Ragnarok Online Mobile. Eternal Love. Eternal love. Yeah, so it's all about the hearts, the kingdom hearts, yeah, it's about the, the, the hearts. Lo- eternal loves. Oh. It's really easy to get in, to get into. It's like fun to play while you're like you know waiting for a bus or on the bus. You know, does it does it take up a lot of data? Meh. You sound I don't think like, so. When you're describing it, yeah. you sound like in that episode of South Park when yeah. Jimmy was trying to get everyone to play the Terrence and Philip game. There's a Terrence and Philip game. It was a mobile game. Oh, was this like like season like twenty or something? I don't know. It was one of the newer ones. Yeah, I didn't watch like this watch. year. No, no, like a few years ago, probably. Oh, I haven't watched. But he's South just going Park over to, everyone, like... to everyone's talking, like, "Hey, you should play the Tears of Philip game. It's so much fun. You can do this and this, and you can do this and this, and you'll enjoy it." It's like an advertisement. Oh, I don't know. That's I'm just. Well, I'm you know, when there's a lot of loading screens and they issue advertisement why the game's good, you just read that. Yeah, I just, I just, <laughs> it just some college goes. Is that, is that what they do? They just no. have <laughs> descriptions of why their game is good. <laughs> <laughs> no, the loading screens are like. It's weird. It's like they just tell you these weird stuff, but it's nothing to do with like advertising. Do you game. ever in a game read the tips they give you during a loading screen? Sometimes, in uh, God of War, it was pretty helpful. Sometimes this is the this is the funny part. Sometimes they're like, uh, they're tips, and I already know those tips, mm-hmm. and then they'll show a new tip that I didn't read. But that's when the loading of the game actually like starts. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, oh, I oh. want to read that. It's like, oh wait, and then it's yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that happens, like, ah, yeah. what the fuck. That happens too. Like, wait a minute. Oh, that, was, that was a good one. I need that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Battery's gonna die on on the camera. Well, so, then we uh, might as well just wait till the battery dies. Nat. <sighs> nat. Nat. It says nat top left. Oh, it's, oh, you gotta open your nat, Phil. Otherwise, like, yeah. You can't otherwise, you can't play. Like, uh, <laughs> your 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 server is gonna be really bad. I don't want to end it. Oh, huh? I want to end it. Okay, How much okay. more? Jude, what do you have? Uh, you have any uh, Chinese New Year words of wisdom? No. None. 
Are you are you and Derek talking on Discord? Yeah. Oh. You're having like two conversations at one time. I can, yeah, like, I, can, I, I can have like six conversations at one time if what? you want. Can you have yeah, one with yeah. me and one with Chris separately? I mean, uh, concurrently? No, because, well, otherwise I have to ignore one and then talk to the other one. You know, it's give uh, and take. I want to turn this off, but I don't feel like getting up. That's why you just wait for the thing to... Yeah, just <laughs> fall, fall asleep, and then when you wake up, I'll be you done. Know, you can edit it. Just be like, okay, now the podcast is, <laughs> but, then, but then it's just still going, so... Okay, ending... Here. No. Sometimes...